Hello, everyone. It's Mike Filsame here with Donna Fox and Tom Beal. Um, welcome, 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 welcome to the Tuesday Groove Funnels Digital Marketing Training. And if you can hear me well, uh, put a one in the chat for me. We're going to make sure that everybody's hearing us well. There's been a lot of uh, issues going on with uh, with Zoom and Skype. Everybody's putting in ones in there. Uh, everybody's saying hello, Donna, Tom. Hello, Mike. Mike, turn your screen on. Sure, I'll turn my screen on for you. <laughs> you guys don't like it, Mike. I get you. Uh, let's see. Uh, somebody. Whoop. Oh shit. Somebody. I mute. I muted Mike instead of me. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> and they heard me say, oh, crap. I mute, I'll mute myself. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Can somebody make me a presenter? Uh, apparently, I don't have. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Okay. Oh, I can do it. Uh, change presenter. Okay. Here we go. Show my main screen. I believe that's this here. Okay. All right, everybody. So uh, right now, um, before we... Uh, well, let's let's just jump in. First of all, there's been a couple of updates, uh, as you see, uh, just some of the progress that's going on with uh, Groove Pages. You'll see here uh, inside of the Group Digital Facebook group. We've also purchased a domain to make it a little bit easier to get to the Facebook group. You can just go to GrooveDigitalFB.com at any time, and we'll probably be using that on, you know, on webinars and training. We've also moved the URL for support. Just to make it a little bit easier, you can just go to GrooveSupport.net and go to support. But here in the Facebook group, uh, obviously, I believe you're all members. But for any reason, if you're not, just go to Groove Digital FB, as in Facebook, uh, .com and uh, request uh, access to the group. And you can we have a sticky post up here <clears throat> that is uh, giving all of the updates. And we're going to uh, do a couple of things today. Uh, besides that, we uh, we want to talk with you uh, about you and about uh, mindset. And Tom, I had a had a really really good call uh, today. I did a recording. I can't wait to release it to everybody. You know that young man Donovan, uh, uh, I believe is his name, right? <clears throat> Donovan. He had he was in he was in an accident very similar to you when he was 14 years old. Very similar mm -hmm. story. And I know that you you uh, also did an interview with him, right? Donovan Hunterman. Hunterman. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Hunterman. Yeah. So I did. I did an hour and 15 minute call uh, today uh, with him just on on uh, I think he, he calls it limitless. Uh, uh, not it's um, limitless. Oh gosh, it's like limitless. Lifestyle, limitless lifestyle. It's not lifestyle, and it's a really cool name, and it's not university or anything like that. But uh, <clears throat> but yeah, if you could look that up for us, Tom. Yeah, that'll be great. So we can give him a shout out. Um, and uh, so, uh, Jesse, you're asking, are these sessions added to the membership dashboard? And if so, where are they located? Uh, yeah, that's another thing. Right now, Groove Card Academy is going to be renamed probably by this time tomorrow, Groove Digital Academy, if that hasn't been done today. Uh, I'm going to log in through the admin here and just show you. When you uh, log into uh, Kajabi, you'll see uh, Groove Card Academy and Groove Funnels Academy. This image is going to change. It's going to be called Groove Funnels Academy. <clears throat> and yes. Once you're in there, the uh, once you log in, it'll look something like this, uh, and you will just go into webinar replays. And of course, we always put all of the the replays uh, that we do uh, right here for you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and um, so what uh, what uh, we want to focus on today, uh, of course, with is uh, <clears throat> giving you some updates on uh, on GrooveFunnels, some of the things that are gonna make things a little bit sim simpler and easier for the brand and show you some cool stuff with uh, with GrooveSell. Uh, but we wanted to take a little bit of time <clears throat> to, uh, and uh, guys, if you can help uh, these folks here that are asking, where is that, where do I get that? I believe right now you just go to GrooveCardAcademy.com and you'll be able to log in. <clears throat> but so we wanted to talk um, with, uh, with you here. Let's see, we've got 70 people uh, on the, on the training right now and uh if you could for us just put in uh where you're from uh in the world and if you're in the united states put uh put the, the if you want to put city and state that's fine you don't need to put usa and and everywhere else if you want to put your city and country uh, i'm going to read them off for you <clears throat> what we want to do is uh 
we first want to talk about you know uh, dealing with this this situation. I think for us to come on and not address uh, you know what's been happening in the last uh, uh, two weeks certainly uh, would be would be um, it would just seem a little bit odd. So we have uh, let's see Cincinnati, Ohio, and you'll know who you are uh, when I say it, right? San Francisco. Long Island, New York, a former Long Islander like me, that's Yoshi. Los Angeles, Montreal, uh, Canada, Toronto, uh, Swansea, UK, Ove, Norway, Orlando, Florida, New Zealand, uh, Lewiston, Idaho, uh, Gold Coast, Australia, the Canary Islands of Spain. Nico, <coughs> Nico, uh, uh, hit me up uh, in the Facebook group. My, my, one of my best friends in the world and. And uh, the very, very first programmer I ever had, uh, Ionut, many of you may know that name, Ionut, um, he lives in the Canary Islands in Spain. He's begging for, for me and Michelle to come there. I, I would love to have you guys meet each other. <coughs> Greensboro. Tenerife? Was it Tenerife? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaz, but, yeah, exactly. Tenerife. Yes. Yep. Tenerife. Yeah, Tenerife. Tenerife, and Michelle always thought that he was saying Canary, like this Canary. So <laughs> she always said, thought he was going Canary instead of Canary, but he was saying Tenerife. That's exactly where he is, yeah. Uh, Greensville, San Diego, Egypt. Um, is Syed uh, Wafa from Egypt. Carmel, California. Uh, beautiful place up there. I've been up in that little town. Uh, Egypt, uh, we have uh, Europe, Croatia. Greenlee, Pennsylvania. London, UK. Melbourne, uh, Aussie land, uh, London, UK, Alberta, Canada, Sugarland, Texas, California, uh, Montreal, Quebec, the UK, Pennsylvania, Eugene, Oregon, USA, uh, uh, Oregon, uh, they're big into uh, running track over there. Um, let's see, Katez Ob Savi, Slovenia, with a smiley face, Spokane, Washington, Essex, UK, Florida, Chicago, Illinois, there's about 20 more, we'll get through them. Um, but I want to get them all in there. Oregon Coast, um, uh, Tinian, Perry Dalton, Mobile, Alabama, Calgary, Canada, Florida. <laughs> Somebody from Where's the Chat? <laughs> I'm teasing them. Uh, we'll help you out, uh, Savannah. Denver and Arizona. Oak, uh, let's see, in San Antonio, Texas. Tenerife, he says, yes, same island. Um, uh, the person saying no sound, I can't help you because you wouldn't hear us. Uh, and just a few more, Conventry, UK, San Mateo, California. You better mention Trinidad and Tobago. Nigel, we gotcha. Ottawa, Canada, uh, Nobby in Melbourne, Australia. And <clears throat> Jay wants to say, I'm a retired auto finance manager from Chicago. And I think that's maybe a shout out to me. I'm also a retired finance manager from Long Island in the Caribbean. And finally, Savannah gets it in at the last second. Must have gotten the sound working. Lexington, Kentucky. OK, so, folks, we are gathered here from all around the world, from different time zones. Uh, you know, it, while it might be six o'clock here, I know some of the places out there must be 2 a.m. in the morning. In Australia, I'm taking a guess. It might be 8 a.m. the next day or or, or <coughs> who knows. But I'm sure that you guys are getting on from all over the world. So, you know, about two weeks ago, two weeks ago, we, uh, we when I say we, myself and Michelle were in California. We had just signed a deal to rent out an entire nightclub for uh, in San Diego called Sidebar, right downtown, about four blocks from the Traffic and Conversion Summit where the convention center was going to be. And uh, I believe that that event was going to be uh, one week from today, correct, Anna? <clears throat> if I believe it's it's one week from today. Um, and... Uh, Donna, can you let Matt, uh, Matt Seralta know I'm on a, uh, I'm doing the training tonight. I will, yes. Thank you. Okay. And, uh, I had gotten in, I was going to be there a month early because I was going to be doing, uh, two masterminds and, uh, preparing, uh, you know, a booth and, and, uh, setting up, you know, the, the biggest party, uh, a cocktail event that the industry has ever seen for Traffic and Conversion Summit. I, I, we had, I had rented a WeWork office in San Diego, and I'm, I'm at a mastermind, 
and I'll give you the dates just so that we know here. Um, I'm at a mastermind on uh, Friday, uh, on Saturday the 7th, 8th, and 9th, <clears throat> okay? And on the uh, on the 8th, uh, I'm, I'm at a mastermind and somebody's there and I said, hi, and, and she says, hi, and she goes, come here, Mike, give us a hug, who cares about this virus, right? And I'm not blaming her because we were all making these little jokes and that was just two weeks ago. And uh, I'm now, I, I signed a, a lease for, for an office at WeWork, and I basically put my first day in there, and I decide that, uh, you know, I want to I wanna start talking to different people that I know are also doing events, like David Gonzalez, he's doing an event and <clears throat> getting the take on it. And, and at that point, it was, dude, even if traffic and conversion is canceled, we're still doing we're still doing it. People want to come out, right? It's 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 funny how the how you know the mentality to just move forward was there. Traffic and conversion summit was going down, cr kicking and screaming, and I was and I was saying just like you and like everybody was feeling, this is doubling or exponentially changing by the day. And then on Wednesday, it's uh, announced that it's a pandemic. Thursday, it was a national emergency. And by Friday, I was home. Literally at that point, I said, I am getting the heck out of Dodge <clears throat> because at that point, you don't know if they're going to start grounding flights, right? And I didn't want to get stuck in an Airbnb. And and uh, uh, fortunately, things like uh, we, uh, WeWork and Airbnb and everybody just gave us all of our money back with the exception of one company one company, and they're just known for their worst customer service in the world, and that's United. They're the only one that would not give us our money back. But on top of that, we had four Airbnbs and a hotel. Donna was going to be coming out. Uh, Joe Jablonski was going to be coming out. We were we were all set, and then suddenly, <clears throat> um, I'm on a plane, and even on a plane ride coming home, there was still a sense of normalcy because this was only a day after it was announced. So a lot of people already had flights or, or doing what I was doing, that last minute flight. So the airports were still busy. And uh, enter, um, enter uh, last week. <clears throat> so that week, uh, I believe I get home now. I fly out on the 13th, go through the weekend, and it's now the 16th, which is one week ago yesterday. And that feels like a month ago. <clears throat> okay, and we, and I, I'm, I'm uh, uh, folks, we're being transparent here. Okay, like completely transparent. Um, we are tracking our sales, and um, what we were doing in uh, in Facebook ads, right? Completely crashed to almost ninety percent. You know, we're spending the same amount of money, but let's for every ten sales, we were now making one. Correct. Um, and we had a couple of uh, two different affiliates that were mailing. So when you take that out and we look and we went through all the data, we noticed a couple of things. Number one, uh, sales are down 59%. And um, the, um, the refunds and the cancellations uh, went up. And we can all understand why, right? Uh, my wife was laid off. My husband was laid off. My sales are slowing down. Uh, when I say me, I mean you, your voices, and and everybody in this in this world. And you know, you have uh, Boris Johnson yesterday uh, making a statement, basically saying we are at war, right? Uh, uh, it's ba basically looking at this as as war. And in one week, um, <clears throat> just from the last time that I spoke with with Tom and Don and said I'm going to do this call next week, um, we all felt that it would be a little bit insensitive for us to just just show up and say, hey, everybody, here's what's going on and blah, 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 and training. Uh, we wanted to take a little pause um, and <clears throat> excuse me, hit the circuit breaker because I, uh, I, I haven't stepped out of my house other than to basically do, you know, the neighborhood walk with, uh, with my, my wife since, since Friday the 13th. It's now been, um, uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, Friday the, the, yeah, Friday the 13th. So it's been, I don't know, 10, 12 days and, you know, we haven't been to the supermarket and we're sure you're, you're all going through the same thing. So, uh, having said that, you know, we, we had to, uh, come together as a company and say, Hey, what are we going to do, uh, you know, to <clears throat> to make sure that this company is healthy and this company 
uh, can be there, uh, you know, for years and years to come for our customers and clients, um, you know, with, uh, you know, with a cut of 60% in income, right? Um, so we, we did uh, what any business should do. We went through all of our expensive expenses. And first of all, you, I don't even want to say trim the fat. Uh, when you start going through some of the bills that you're, you're, you're paying, you start saying, who signed up for this? What is this thing for $1.99 a month? Oh, uh, yeah, that's the thing we agreed upon six months ago. Are we using it? Um, I, well, no, I guess we could cancel it. And, you know, you could you, you start going through different things like that, either personally or in your business. And we saved ourselves a lot of money. And then we, we uh, uh, reached out to the staff and we spoke with the staff and we said, hey, let's let's get everybody to uh, chip in and do, <clears throat> quote unquote, um, for lack of a better term, uh, a restructuring of pay rather than doing any layoffs or anything like that. And and, uh, you know, the team came be, uh, got behind it. Everybody, everybody uh, took a sacrifice. And because of that, we can look at the forecast uh, where we are and still be profitable every month and not have to lay off a single developer, not a single person in support, nothing. Everybody gets to, to stay on the team. So what, what we have to realize, uh, and the other thing that we're doing uh, uh, as well, is we're looking at a way, ways that we can serve the community uh, as well. Is there a way that we, if you look at AT&T, <clears throat> what, you know, what, are they, what are they doing? They're giving free, uh, a free bandwidth to everybody over, you know, there'll be no overage fees and all the other phone companies are doing it. You're, you're just seeing companies like Uber Conference saying, hey, you could use our virtual software like Zoom meetings free for the next 60 days. And and we've, we, we will be doing something uh, like that as well for the entire community. It's going to take us about a couple of weeks to get that done and we'll announce that in a couple of weeks. But but we we started saying to ourselves that when you look at, at certain times in in, uh, in history, um, whether, you know, it be, uh, you know, uh, Dunkirk in the UK, uh, an incredible story that unfortunately I wasn't aware of until I saw the, uh, the Winston Churchill movie with Gary Aldman and the movie Dunkirk by Christopher Nolan, that I truly understood that story and how, you know, humanity comes together and solves problems. Um, we felt that in this country, uh, when, when we got attacked in the United States on, on Pearl Harbor. And we felt it again when we got attacked on 9-11. And that wasn't an attack on New York City. It wasn't an attack on uh, the United States. It was an attack on uh, the free world. <clears throat> and now, for the first time, uh, you know, um, in, 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 in a society like this that communicates with travel, and with FaceTime and uh, virtual employees, for the first time in our history, we are faced with, you know, uh, something that, you know, you know, it's it's not necessarily the asteroids to the dinosaurs, but, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, when you look back in history and you see these things like the Spanish flu and the plagues, and things like that, they they didn't have the means and the understanding to to know what was going on and 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 to and to and the communication means of television and radio and social media to help through these things and and so what's going on is we're seeing humanity really get together. And let me talk to you about a couple of demons that can really affect us here. Um, the most important thing that we need to do, or some of the most important things in no particular order, we need to, uh, and, and this is my own personal opinion, uh, we need to stay away from the media for at least uh, just a, a maximum of 30 minutes a day, or maybe 30 minutes uh, in the morning, <clears throat> 30 minutes in the evening. Um, my advice to you is stay the hell away from Fox News, from CNN, and from MSNBC, uh, and focus on the actual news. Get your news from the CDC, from the World Health Organization, obviously stay in touch with what's going on with the 
the White House administration, get the facts. There are, there, there are great places that actually give you the facts of what happened today. <clears throat> but when it comes into the pundits that get on, that, uh, that are cheerleading on one side and tearing down on the other, that is, there's no time for that right now. This, this isn't political. This sh shouldn't be about uh, you know, uh, who, is, uh, who we want or don't want to win uh, the next election. <clears throat> and there'll be a time for that and a time for us, especially in this country, to have our voices. But um, more than ever, more than ever, it pains me to see uh, the, you know, the, the so-called experts coming on to talk about anything other than the facts. The, the, the facts that are important is learn how to keep yourself safe. Learn how to shop in times like this. Learn how to disinfect. You know, know the different things that when a post, a post office box is delivered to your house, that the virus can stay on cardboard alive for up to three days. Like re those are the things that you want to you know. How do I keep myself safe? Know that you can be asymptomatic, meaning have zero symptoms. It'll never, never show. And you can, you can have the virus, but you'll build up antibodies. But what that means is you may have the virus. And you may feel fine. And well, if I feel good and I'm a hair cutter, well, I guess I can still go to work. <clears throat> you know, you want to you want to be conscious of those things. Uh, we all we all know these things now that it's no longer about us. It's about the people that we live with or the people that we come in contact with and who they live with. And you know, uh, are they getting in uh, you know around people that have lower immune disorders? or are sick or, you know, or, or all the combinations, you know, that we're seeing in Italy, you know, elderly living in many, many, many people in the same home, uh, former smokers and all, all that stuff. And, and uh, this is a time for us to get together, uh, support each other, uh, find, find ways to either, uh, uh, either help stop the problem or not contribute to it, one one or the other, and hopefully, um, <clears throat> you know, I, there's a little joke Donna and I were talking about how dangerous social media is. It is the biggest game of telephone you'll ever see. Somebody is a doctor, and they're quoted, maybe talking in Parma, Italy, and they'll make a, a quote that says, uh, right now, uh, we can't help anybody over 60 years old at this particular hospital. We just don't have any beds and we have to focus on the people that, that have the best chance of living. And this is a horrible, horrible thing to even hear. But then you tell somebody that and then they post on social media, did you hear Italy says they're no longer helping people over 60 years old? And then these things spread. <clears throat> so, so um, those things can be can be difficult mentally. They can they can put you into a depression and a fear of of uh, of you know for your children and your family. And so again, I, I I tell you to try to stay to the facts. Stay away from social media. The sensationalism is there. Obviously, the memes are funny about staying home and all that stuff is good. But I find that keeping myself busy. And taking on the role, every one of us here, for our family, for our business, for everything, no matter what we do, to take on the role of a leader, of a victor. Um, <clears throat> in this country, um, you know, if you saw the Clint Eastwood movie, uh, you know, with the war, with, with the, with the, with the um, Andrew Garfield, where where uh, he was the, the medic in, in the war, uh, you know, that... that uh, you know, there, there were stories in, in World War II when the people bombed Pearl Harbor. Every single person basically, uh, you know, went, went to, wanted to go to the war. And then when people, people couldn't, they were flat-footed or whatever, or were denied the right to go fight for their country, they committed suicide. Um, there was such a rally for what people knew to be right. And this is our time to do that. And the reason why I bring up with Donna is, we were talking about, oh my goodness, the misinformation on Facebook, and uh, and in the early days, we we as a as a company we have a we have a group and we just call it COVID nineteen updates, uh, so that, that it, we need a place to talk about. Hey, did you hear they're going to have tests? They're going to do this, and talk about the timeline 
specifically about the virus rather than just blowing up regular chat groups or Slack groups. And we, we were seeing that even as a company, we were doing the telephone game. Hey, have you heard they're doing this? And we started, we started calling each other out, show me the link. And then the link would come in from slate.com and it'd be like, well, CNN is not reporting that. And, uh, and, and CNN.com is not reporting it. Uh, you know, none of the, none of the major news sites are reporting it. If they report it tomorrow, I'll find this more likely to be true. But that was all about the stuff about, you know, they found a cure. It's malaria. OK, what we found out is that it's more complicated than that. Right. And then we're so quick to maybe reshare those different things. So uh, what, what I would tell you to do is, is when you see those things, just go do the research, search for the facts, get the information. So Donna found uh, a website <clears throat> that that basically. Um, had all of the facts that you should know, right? And her post basically said something like this. With all of the, the misleading and incorrect uh, information going around the, the internet, especially on social media, uh, here is a post, and of course it was a reputable uh, you know, uh, site, uh, that has all of the information that you should know. This is the only place that you should follow. And Donna, I don't know if that's an updated site or maybe if you wanna, if that's something that you know we could even post here, or if that was just oh you know something that you know was not dynamic and it expired, but but basically even in that post after Donna posted that right like she was she was it was a it was post about what we're saying here be careful what you're getting on social media, all of the comments were yeah here's another one and here's another one and here's another one and then people started posting things in donna's threads like if you can hold your breath for more than 10 seconds you don't have the virus and all that stuff that is just nonsense and bs and and so uh the fact is that um it's very difficult right now even in social media even to do the right thing all right so what we what we can do <clears throat> especially for at least 50% of the people on this call that are not grounded, we just work from home. Um, I, Donna, I got my guitar today. Like, I got a guitar because, you know, everybody's talking. Well, now that you're home, here are different things that you can do. And, and I was like, yeah, maybe I should do this. And Donna and Michelle were painting the other day. And I said, you know, I've always wanted to learn guitar. And I was telling Donna, she said, so why don't you get one? Curtis has one. I ended up getting a guitar and it came in. And then I had to chuckle with Donna and say, well, you know what? I work from home every day. The last 10 days have been nothing different with the exception that I haven't gone to the supermarket, right? But if that if that would have been the week where Michelle went without me, I'm really not noticing. And I think like half of you are. <clears throat> now, um, many of you are probably seeing your spouse. Even if you do work from home, you're seeing your spouse uh, home and your kids home from school. And it's a, it's a different dynamic. So what... Uh, what we what we should do is take this time to just focus on that to-do list. We owe it to ourselves and we owe it to our family and our partners and our customers to 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 move forward and help this economy by not shutting down. Uh, <clears throat> we believe that um, you know uh, you know I don't I don't want to even talk about what you know what Trump said today, because even though it was Trump, uh, I don't necessarily believe it, and I don't want you to think that because Trump said it that it's true. But you know, he says basically he wants to he wants to get everybody back to work by Easter. And um, look, you know, his words to uh, his mouth to God's ears, um, that'll be great. But you know, until I see the administration put a plan forward to do that, it, it's for us right now to continue uh, to, to market. Now, I haven't seen any comments, uh, and everybody may be listening, maybe there aren't any comments uh, at all, um, but I'm gonna now uh, release the microphone to Tom and Donna and have them weigh in on, on what we just said there, and maybe I'll make a closing comment, and because we're at the halfway point, um, and uh, and then we'll get on to uh, you know the updates that I promised you all. So I'll start with uh, Donna first. So yeah, so thanks thanks for sharing. And I want to give everyone my little tip for um, avoiding being a news junkie. Uh, last week was not a good week for me. I'm I let people get into my head, 
And uh, I decided, starting today actually, that I am um, going through some radical self-care through discipline. And I know it's a, it's a military perspective, and I'm sure Tom will give me the exact uh, quote, but it's something along the lines of, through discipline there's freedom. Um, and I am finding that in myself this week, that I'm, I'm free of feeling shackled to the, the, the news and needing to know what's the new updated information um, through radical self-discipline. And one of the things I'm being very disciplined about is only giving myself 15 minutes to just see what's burning now. And uh, 15 minutes of news exposure a day is all that I need. And I'm finding that I'm saving some in case, you know, Mike drops a really good link at me and then I can go read it without punishment because I am giving myself punishment. And uh, I really hate the exercise burpees. Look them up on YouTube if you if you don't know what a burpee is. It's torture. It's just pure torture. And I'm uh, forcing myself to do two burpees if I if I'm reading a coronavirus article. Um, so I am rapidly uh, killing that particular addiction of mine and spending a lot more time having um, greater fun, spending more quality time like painting with uh, Michelle long distance over Skype, just enjoying the connections that I can uh, from a distance. So that's it. That's it for me. Thank you, Donna. And Tom. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, you're, 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 uh, I would love to hear how you're coping and, mm -hmm. uh, and you're, you're, a, you're one of the strongest men or people that I know when it comes to mindset in mm -hmm. adversity. Uh, and I believe that, uh, that comes from, uh, from, uh, from your Marine background and your, your, your commitment to personal development. So, uh, some words from you would be fantastic. Yeah, uh, Mike, thank you. And thank you, Donna, for sharing. And, and here's my take, guys and gals. I mean, we were here last week and I, we addressed the elephant in the room. And as we said last week, holy cow, if someone would have told me here's where we were a week from now, I wouldn't have believed them. And guess what? It happened again. If anyone would have told me last week when we met, here's where we are now, it's almost beyond comprehension. And, you know, so here's my, my uh, hopefully inspirational words for everyone here. Well, first of all, this too shall pass, right? That's been th throughout history. You know, you and I and all of us here are here. And look back on your past and just just jot down and think of some turning points. Think of some times that were your deepest, darkest moments. And think about that. When I reflect on that, I'm like, holy crap, I made it through that. Wow. Like, and, it, and it's wild to, to reflect and say, you know what? With all the troubles and with all the adversity and with all the challenges that I have seen up to this point, I'm still here. Right. And I mean, uh, last week or, or I don't remember, it was last week or the week before I shared, Mike, uh, you weren't on, on the call, but Donna was. Mike, Donna and I met early in March of 2005 and it was at a Ted Nicholas event and Ted Nicholas passed away just a couple of weeks ago. And I found out just before getting on tonight's call that another amazing copywriter passed, Clayton Makepeace. And Clayton was great friends with Rich Sheffrin. And it wasn't coronavirus related. And I'm bringing those up to share this reality. Ladies and gentlemen, none of us make it out of here alive. But it's my mission to, to not only lead my life, but inspire others to, while we are alive, to live it. And to not let fear hold us back, to not let worry and not let uh, other people's ulterior motives and, and, and fear hold us back from doing what we know is ours to do. And this circles back to um, what is ours to do as an entrepreneur. And, and I'd like to remind each and every one of us, if we've flown on an airplane, we know that when they're doing the safety briefing, they talk about, and if you're, with, if you're traveling with a young child or someone who would need assistance, be sure to put your mask on first before helping your child or someone who would need assistance. And so while all this is happening, you have to look in the mirror and ask yourself, am I giving myself the proper care and attention? Because with all this going on, here's the reality. No one in this world, myself included, is totally certain. We're at a point where uncertainty is, is here for each of us because no society has dealt with what we're dealing with right now. So there is a level of uncertainty. But with what I'm discussing here, we have to say, okay, there are things within my control and things outside of my control. 
and there's a lot that I can't and, and, and some that I can control, but I have to first take care of myself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And that requires breaking away from the news. And I have an, an, an what, what's it called when you have uh, the letters N-E-W-S and I say uh, negative energy without uh, I forgot, I forgot. acronym, acronym, uh, acronym. Yeah. Ne negative energy without substance is my acronym for news. Negative energy without substance. They, they, they are, uh, they are businesses. They are corporations, some of the largest uh, publicly traded corporations. And they have, they have a uh, duty to their shareholders to grow their stocks. And they do that by, uh, and many times, uh, doing what it takes to get more eyeballs, right? So we have to recognize that. And they're doing their job, which isn't in the public's interest at all times. It's in their stockholders' interests. And they read their teleprompter readers. And then, you know, you can question who gives them the, the things to read. And there's there's a whole bunch of deep paths you can go. But that said, you have to bring it back to your focus and your locus of control. You have to take care of yourself. I do my morning walk routine. And yes, there's social distancing. And, and uh, you know, we, we respect that and do that. And there's not the roads aren't packed in the morning. But I do that to get my mind settled, to get my body moving, to get my lungs breathing the oxygen. And it's my way of meditating in the morning. Now, I do it generally by putting earpods, AirPods in my ear and walking for a half an hour to the beach, reflecting, uh, setting my intentions for the day and, and, and goals and, and who I need to be for each of those appointments that are, that are set already. And then I walk back. And in the hour, I'm listening to 3x speed on Audible of good information. I'm putting good information in which allows me to when I'm speaking with clients, when I'm speaking in webinars, when I'm doing training such as this. That three hours of audio, because in the one hour round trip, it's three hours of audio each day that I've been doing for years, um, is, is able to have the good information in allows me to share good information with others. So that's my routine. And you heard morning routines and the power of those. What's your routine to take care of yourself in this? What I would recommend is what not to do is to be tied to the TV. What not to do in my recommendation is to not go down the path of escapism. And escapism is different for each and every person. Some people, and, and we'll just call it, we're all, we're all grown adults here. Some people, it's porn. Some people, it's alcohol. Some people, it's drugs. Some people, it's uh, YouTube. Some people, it's gaming. Some people, it's certain apps. What's your escape? And I would have you consider going through these four questions. What do I need to start doing? What do I need to do more of? What do I need to do less of? And what do I need to stop doing? In this time, that is a, a place humanity hasn't been, ask yourself those four questions related to your business. What do I need to start doing? It's self-explanatory, explanatory. <laughs> you're, whatever you're not doing, what's the one, and it's the one thing that you're not doing that has the potential to 10X your reach, to 10X your business in these new times. What's that one thing you're not doing that you could do, which would 10X your reach to get people into your world that could get to know, like, and trust you and then seek further. And, and notice how I phrased it in, in this is different of how I would phrase that a couple of weeks ago. You know, I would say, what's the one thing you're, you're not doing that could 10X your results, your business, your finances, your, your, your sales? Right now, it's more of how can you get 10X your reach to make people more aware of you, to bring you in your world, say, whoa, I like this. I like this person. I like what they have to say. How can I learn more and get them to know, like, and trust you? Then it's a multi-step process at this juncture, in my opinion. Uh, it can still be directly to a sale, but for people that don't know you, something to consider. And then the other thing is, what do I need to do more of? That's uh, it related to business. Uh, you need to really narrow it down to what your unique abilities are. What is the absolute best use of your time? And put put those uh, uh, down on uh, of your ideas. And then you have to ask yourself, if I only was allowed to do one thing this upcoming month, what, what, what one thing would allow my business to grow and uh, uh, stay sustainable? And then you get a second thing and you get a third thing. You've narrowed it down to your top three things. Schedule those into your calendar along with the thing you need to start doing. Now you got four things scheduled into your calendar on a weekly basis. Those are the 20% of activities that are going to give you 80% of the results. What do you do less of? Everything else. And, and it's a simple thing, but here's the shift. When you're looking at doing something that you know is not the best use of your time, you recognize that's not the best use of my time. Have I done what I needed to do for the thing I needed to start doing and the things I need to do more of? Okay, then I'll finally get to what I need to do less of. But when I do it, I'm going to put a system in process. I'm going to create a step-by-step -step process that I can outsource or delegate or have it be done without being done by me. And then the fourth question is, what do I need to stop doing? 
those are the time wasters. Those are the escapism activities. Those are the things that are incongruent with the goals and dreams that you have. And I'm saying this with my hand raised. I have them too. And it's always something else. There's always something, you know, and, and it could be uh, Netflix, you know, uh, it could be all the different things that we talked about that are distractions. And how can you limit those? How can you, you do less of them? And then and there's some that have served their course and you just stop doing them. Um, and this is a time to not escape. This is a time to step up as a leader. This is a time to help give certainty to people who don't have certainty. And when you do this, you will be that leader that people go to. So in any adversity throughout history, this quote is true. And this will prove to be true for us all here in this community. There's a quote from Napoleon Hill that says, every adversity carries with it the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. This is the biggest adversity, uh, in my opinion, humanity has seen up to this point. We are reaching a point where we're, we're stepping into territory that's unknown. That said, this is the biggest benefit that's coming for the people that are not crippled by fear and uncertainty and are willing to step up and be the leaders they need to be in their industries. This will be the biggest, uh, well, as it says, every adversity carries with the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. This will be the biggest benefit for those who grasp this, not out of fear, but out of action and out of determination, out of discipline, out of perseverance. And I know all of you here are exactly that because when Mike rattled off all the different countries, all the different time zones that are here, you are doing things that most people would not be doing. You are taking the steps that are leading you to the path of separating yourself from the rest who are fumbling around with uh, uncertainty. And now you're, you're going to have the clarity and the actions to back it up to go out there and put your stake in the ground of here's who I am, here's who I serve, here's how I serve them. If that's you, welcome to my club, welcome to my world, I'm here to help you. In these times when uh, many people are, are too worried about survival, I'm here to help you not just survive, but thrive. And watch how you can plant that. that hey, Tom, I'm, I'm going to cut in uh, here for a second. I'm not yeah. going to say your name, ma'am. Yeah. I will not say your name, uh, but... Um, uh, I, I, uh, so I'm just going to read this. Um, oh, no, it's, it's fine. Yeah. It's, I don't even know if I'm it gonna, needs to be. Yeah. That's, no, I'm that's gonna, I'm gonna, look, look at the I'm, next one. Thanks, Tom. Love it. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's exactly. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. So, so, um, so I'm, I'm that, certainly not going to say the name. It's a, right. are we doing any training on this call? I don't need to hear where to get COVID news. I have a ton of questions. I need to get my side up in the next few days. Yeah. Well, I'm glad, I'm, 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 I'm glad to see you're excited. Um, uh, but and I know that you come here for training and this, if this isn't training, then, you know, maybe you don't see it as training. We're talking about mindset, uh, you know, in a time uh, when things are very, very difficult for people. And this is the way we roll here. Uh, this is the way we roll. Uh, maybe we're not for you. Uh, next question. Okay, well, this is a waste of time. Let me know if there's any actual training. I need some help. Who can I talk to? Me, 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 me. Um, I don't think we're for you. I, I, I really don't. Uh, we have a help desk. We have a Facebook group. We do training twice a week. And we are in the uh, midst of uh, something that when I talk to everybody, I talk to my brother uh, uh, who who, uh, who owns a school. Uh, what they just shut down and he has uh, bills of $40,000 a month just for his school. Uh, doesn't know what he's going to do. Uh, we, we decided that coming up and showing you today, only how to drag and drop a font and publish a website may not be the best thing that we can do as a community. And based on the feedback that I'm getting here uh, from everybody, <clears throat> um, prior to me uh, saying this, uh, you people are loving it and appreciating it, and we are building a sense of community. We want to be leaders for you. We want to say that we understand times are tough. And part mm -hmm. two, yes, there will be training. And yes, there's going to be Q&A for everything. Mm -hmm. But for the yep. person that is calling us, this is a waste of time and, uh, the, and, and, and insulting us with, I don't need to know where to get my news. I have a site that I need yep. up and running in the next three days. <clears throat> I understand that you do. And I understand that you come here uh, for your business. But, uh, you know, as Tony Robbins said, I'm not your guru, okay? Um, we're, we're not, we are not, uh, here only to uh, to uh, it's provide. It's a family. Right? It's yeah. a family. Yeah, yeah it's a family. Yes, we, if, if we're, if we're right. at a family we're, meeting and we don't address this, we are doing our family a disservice, and that's not what so. we're here for. I believe yeah. so. So I'm not going to talk too much more about that, other uh, other uh, than I 
I would appreciate uh, if you just, uh, you know, come back on the on the next trainings. If this isn't training yep. for you, we also consider personal development to be yep. training. Uh, yep. And there's also 70 people that uh, are right now, 104 people that are on this call that also have questions about their business. And we certainly yep. want to get to them. And that's why we do these things on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we have a Facebook group and we have uh, we have a, a telephone number at our site where somebody actually picks up the phone. And we also have a help desk and we're there for you. You. We really are, and uh, for for uh, for you you to uh, basically tell us stop the nonsense, help me. Um, uh, you, you've, you're in the wrong family, ma'am. Yep. You're in the wrong family. So and, and, I'm and gonna... Mike, you know, and that, and that, that's a great point. And and guys and gals, like as you can see, there's this is full transparency. Mike shared what's happening in the business, that the, the, what's happening in the world, and, and you heard Donna share, and you heard me share, and we're here because we care. And what we're not going to let you do is flounder. And what we're going to do is give you proper guidance. And, and as you heard, in, in, in prior to us us going down th th that that other uh, path and discussing that is, this is a time for you to sit back. Like, how many of you have seen this? And I've seen this. People obviously are still running ads that were running prior to two weeks ago. And what does that do when you see that? What does that do when they don't bring up that they don't enter the conversation in your mind? You're like, what the heck is this person doing? Like they're they're missing the mark. You don't want to be that marketer. So here we are transitioning to marketing. In times like this, you have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. You can't conduct business the way you were conducting business two to three weeks ago. You have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. You have to enter the conversation in your prospects and clients' minds. Guess what's on their minds right now? Well, there's a lot of uncertainty. Guess what's on their minds right now? Holy cow, what is happening? Guess what's on their minds right now? Should I spend any money? Like, should I should I just tighten everything up, or 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 can I go buy things? Like, like think of what's going on in your minds, your friends' minds, your family's minds, and how can you wrap your arms around your audience when you're sharing your messages? And when you're sharing your messages, whether it's to get the opt-in, you have to have the messaging that enters the conversation in their mind. If when you're sharing the message to get the sale, same thing. If you right. miss that, if you disconnect from that, they're going to be like, you've seen it. I've seen it. The, the advertisements that you can tell were running before this and they haven't stopped those. And that that's just like a disgrace, in my opinion. Like you obviously yeah. are out of touch to think that the old way is going to work in the situation that's work that's in we're all dealing with right now. That's so it. So I, yeah, thank you, Tom. <clears throat> so I want to move on. Uh, I, I said that for a reason, folks, uh, not just to tell that person you might be in the wrong family, but also so that if you uh, identified necessarily with what what we did today and uh, <clears throat> and, you know, in that message, uh, then then, you know, that uh, that you're in the right place uh, and uh, perhaps, um, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're here on Tuesdays and Thursdays, twice a week, committed twice a week to do the training. The founders of the company uh, show up uh, on these calls uh, several times. We're, we're here for you. We're not mm -hmm. always going to be here for you for your exact thing that you need. But with a little patience, at the end of the call, when we get to it, put in a little a question. I've got a question. Donna always helps. Mike, here's a question. Craig Perrine asked a great question. Uh, <clears throat> Donna hit me up on Skype and said, "Hey, can we get to, can we get to this?" And uh, and I, I I I felt, you know, should I keep my mouth? Uh, should I bite my tongue on the first one? Uh, you know, when uh, you know it was a little snarky. And but then when it was a waste of time, I I, I felt without calling that person out by name, I need to just let them know. <clears throat> that um, that that's that. So now I want to move let, on. Let me share. Let me share this lesson real quick, Mike. This is pretty powerful, and I think Mike, you heard it from years ago when we were working together. But this blew my mind, and this will help you understand the framing of your message. I'm talking to you, all the Groove uh, members here. Um, some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. That needs to be your mantra as a marketer. No matter, no matter, Mike, you and I talked about this. We could stand on the corner giving out $100 bills and some people would put their hands up, oh, oh, oh what's this all about? Hey, I don't want this. Some we will, joked about some, that, right? You can, you can have a real, a real $100 bill and people, right. uh, and people are gonna think that you're handing them yeah. tickets to a comedy club and they'll, they'll right, move their hands right, away, yeah. right? Yeah. Some will, some won't, so what next? So you have to understand, regardless of how much you know, your product, your service helps your people. Some are gonna love it, some aren't. So what? Someone's waiting. You have to have that thick skin. You have to be willing to say, you know what? I know this is true. I have the testimonials that back it up. I know that if people follow these steps, they're going to get similar results. 
And even when you have that belief and even when you have that conviction, there's still going to be people that, oh, this is a scam. You suck. I mean, if you look at any advertisements on Facebook or on Google that, that are out there and getting good exposure, it's comical to read and, and sad, actually, to read the comments, especially if you know the person that that is the advertiser and the product. You're like, Man, that product helped me. And you start getting defensive like because you, you want to protect your friend and how awesome that product was. People just, oh, it's a scam. You suck. You're a loser. You should burn in hell. I mean, it gets really harsh. <laughs> and that's the world of the Internet, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so you have to have the thick skin to recognize some will, some won't. So what next? Matter of fact, keep on rocking. So there right. we are. Thank you, Tom. And we are going to we're going to uh, get to the training now. Uh, thanks for that. As we said, we didn't want to jump in on this call and just uh, pretend that you folks uh, aren't struggling in the world and uh, and uh, help us deal with it, because there's more to life than just making money. Um, you know, we want to we want to keep uh, healthy. We want to be here as long as we can. We want to give back to society. We want to uh, have uh, <clears throat> a good faith and good relationships in our life. There's more to life than just business. And we know that you come to us for business uh, advice. But when uh, when things get tough and the, the economy gets down, sometimes you got to go to church. Right. So, OK, so let's uh, let's talk about the agenda moving forward. Number one, uh, get your questions uh, in here <clears throat> in the chat. Any question, please, related only to Groove Pages and Groove Cell for now uh, at this time. Uh, and so here's the agenda that's that's going to go forward. Some clarity for everybody. I might even uh, take this clip out and uh, just chop up this next five minutes uh, of it uh, for some people because this is being asked in the Facebook group so many times. And I said in to many people, I'm going to talk about this uh, on, on uh, Tuesday in the Facebook group. <clears throat> So, um, uh, then, yeah, so we're going to do, um, a little bit of, uh, groove pages and groove cell, mostly groove cell, uh, right now, to be honest with you, talk about what is groove funnels, what is groove cart, what is groove digital in a nutshell, nothing too crazy. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to go to Q and a and answer every single question, uh, that you have related to groove cell and groove pages. Uh, that we can help you with. <clears throat> so let's jump in. So uh, the first thing is, what is Groove Funnels? Why am I hearing Groove Funnels? And what I don't understand the difference between Groove Apps and Groove Funnels and and Groove Cart and Groove Pay. Is that where I sell products and all that different stuff? And hey, we get it. And if you watch right now, it's going to be very, very, very. Uh, easy for you to understand <clears throat> what we are. So <clears throat> our company, our parent company that has all of our brands, uh, which is what everybody works, uh, uh, everybody on our team works for and who they get their their checks from, is a company called Groove Digital. And I believe that that website, I don't think it's, it's live now. Matt's been working on it. Let me just see if he if you made it live, I put up a temp site up, up here right now, just, just because Groove Digital had gotten out there and we have an email address and I just wanted to get something up. So we're going to have our, our professional website designed in Groove Pages. Uh, you know, they've been working on that for a couple of days now in, inside of Groove Pages. And that's going to be going live. So let's go down to the bottom of that page <clears throat> and talk about <clears throat> what does Groove Digital represent? Well, number one, uh, we have Groove Funnels, which is not a software. Groove Funnels is not software. It's a brand. It's a brand. And Groove Funnels consists of apps called Groove Pages, Groove Cell, which we're going to be talking about today, Groove Mail. I'm going to show you some screenshots of the development of Groove Mail. You'll see some screw screenshots of the development of Groove Member and Groove Video and also Groove Tags. All right, so we're going to be creating uh, <clears throat> a complete tag system um, that is not used just for email, but it's something that you want to be using in, in your shopping cart and in the video platform and on your pages. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry. A tag is basically literally a label that you put on somebody as a smoker or a non-smoker or a male or a female or belongs to this list or they're a customer of this. It's literally a label that you put uh, virtually in the top left corner of their chest 
and it's like a name. A name is a tag, and that's what we call them. That's your name tag, right? Um, and you know, so you play for the NBA or the MLB, and it's everybody wearing an uh, an NBA tag. Move to the left of the room. So when you can tag people based on their actions, like did they see this video? Did they not see this video? Did they land on this page? Uh, <clears throat> you know, did they click a link? Did they open an email? If so, put a tag in the top left corner of their shirt or top right corner if you're looking at them and then they people can have multiple tags but at any time you want to send an email to somebody you say send an email or a text message to somebody with this tag so that's all that tags is we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute okay now we have other software right we have um uh groove cart this is our Shopify competitor, GrooveCart. So that is for physical products and print on demand. And we are not going to be talking about any e-commerce uh, training uh, here today. Uh, <clears throat> I know, Craig, you asked a question. I'm going to try to get it with it. Um, but we try to keep e-commerce focused on Thursday and, and digital marketing focused on Tuesdays because uh, they they are two separate things and and if we start crossing it then we basically just have the same training for two different people on Tuesdays and Thursdays and then we can have legitimate gripes where people say hey I bought GrooveCart and this is Thursday training you're teaching about a page builder and vice versa hey you're teaching about a page builder I'm trying to figure out how to do print on demand so rather than doing training only on Thursdays which was our original promise we decided to bifurcate that and do trainings on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays, we focus on this stuff, digital marketing. Uh, <clears throat> do me a favor, uh, put a one in the chat if you see yourself as a passion project expert infopreneur that teaches people how to do something where you are the intellectual property. Meaning, uh, you are saying, I'm going to, when you pay me, I'm going to teach you how to get your business better, get your head right. Um, <clears throat> make money with real estate, make money at all, save money, lose weight, eat better, get a better marriage or relationship. So uh, so we're getting a lot of ones here, okay? And <clears throat> now do me a favor. Uh, if you are the, the type of person, so put a one in the chat if that's, if that's you or going to be you, all right? Um, <clears throat> okay, there, um, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, I thought it would be a lot more than that, um, or maybe just not everybody put the one in. There about 24 of them now uh, since I said that. Now, do me a favor um, uh, and also put a one in the chat if you're doing software. Uh, I just want to see if another one or two come up because I still consider that a digital marketer. Uh, possibly going to be me. I got it. Rich, it puts a one in there. Uh, uh, Rochelle or Richenel, uh, Jay Dalman. And yeah, online courses, anything that is delivered digitally, sometimes, something uh, something along those lines. Okay. So now we're up to about 30. Um, uh, and you keep coming and more ones are coming and I must have said something that rang a bell. Okay. Now, do me a favor, put a one in the chat. If you consider yourself more of a an uh, e-commerce marketer. An e-commerce marketer is somebody that is selling what I would refer to as a tchotchke, right? Uh, you either have something in inventory and it gets shipped through UPS, FedEx, or the Postal Service. Uh, oh, I should have said put a zero in the chat. So restart that. The, the e-commerce people, do me a favor, um, put a zero in the chat. So uh, just don't worry that there was a one. Just go back and put a zero. <clears throat> okay. This is if you're doing print on demand. You're doing stuff from China, AliExpress, T-shirts, sneakers, <laughs> face masks uh, is the, the, the thing right at print on demand. Okay, so, uh, and because we imported everybody from GrooveCard Academy onto this training uh, to get, you know, additional training, we have about, I would say, just under half the people here are for e-commerce. So just, just to, uh, to keep things on track and keep things focused, I do want everybody to understand that we will focus on e-commerce on Thursdays and digital marketing on Tuesdays, that, and that's today. So, <clears throat> so getting back to our brand, um, uh, free page builder. We're going to be announcing uh, in a couple of weeks with something else that I just can't say right now. Layer app is being redone. That's for print on demand. We're not going to get into that right now. And review trust is something we, that we purchased, and it's a uh, we purchased it for GrooveCart, but it's a it's a testimonial automation software. It automatically uh, it's going to be integrated with Groove GrooveCart and GrooveSell. 
uh, somebody buys a product, they get a link like five days later to put a review. It shows up in your dashboard. You can, uh, you can, uh, they come in as uh, unapproved. If you like it, you hit approve. And already you've had a little line of a snippet of code on your website that just updates that. That so as you start uh, approving more. Uh, more testimonials, uh, a little slider of testimonials just constantly feeds there. So that's what that is. Now we have some services, okay? Our services are GroovePay. GroovePay allows you to get a merchant account. So you could either use PayPal or Stripe, or you could get a merchant account to use Authorize.net or NMI. And we have uh, the best rates, the most knowledgeable people in that industry, uh, bar none, especially for, for e-commerce and digital marketers. Um, I'm going to just say this, a little shout out and commercial about this. Um, it has happened again. And <clears throat> Donna, I told you the name. Uh, uh, Tom, I'll tell you later who it is. Um, but uh, let's just say uh, they, they go they go way, way back uh, with us. And uh, uh, but I, I don't want to give any any other uh, tips other than that. Um, but, uh, Tom, I'll tell you later, but, uh, this is a friend of mine and, uh, and I got to make sure I don't do the accent cause I could give it up. <laughs> um, I said, I said, uh, Hey, Hey buddy, by the way, uh, great talking with you today. You know, we do merchant processing. If there's anything that we can help you with, Oh yeah, buddy. No, we're good. We're good. I've had the same guy since 2002 and he's been doing everything and everything is cool with me and this, that, and the other thing and blah, 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 blah. I said, all right. Um, just. You know, uh, just keep in mind, uh, you know, what people think they're paying is not what they're paying. What they quote you, this isn't like truth in lending. Until you actually take your fees and divide it by your number of sales, that is when you're going to get the true rate, the true rate. Uh, no, 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 dude, we're, we're good. Uh, you know, my rate is, you know, under two points something and blah, 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 blah. Sure enough, they had a problem with their merchant account. Uh, they, uh, it's a 911 emergency. They called us, <laughs> right? It was on a Sunday. I need a merchant account. Matt Soralta here goes, you know, right out there, says, get me your current processing. <clears throat> and Tom, this person has been paying uh, between 7 and 12% for their merchant processing, thinking they were paying in the twos. I know uh, the person. I'll tell, your, I'll tell his name right now. I'm no, just kidding. Yeah, no. go for it. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Is, I love it. It was John Doe, right? So the reason why I say this is, is there was another story with my friend from San Diego that said, and again, I can't say this one with an accent. Uh, it'll give it away. Um, and he says, no way, mate, you can beat my price. I've been, uh, everybody wants my business. I'm paying 1.9. <clears throat> I said, name, that's impossible. That's impossible. That's lower than MasterCard and Visa card. I know. I'm telling you. That's why. And I'm like, you really believe you're paying 1.9? What do you think? I'm an idiot? You think I'm an idiot? Of course. I'm telling you. We negotiated a good rate. So he had. He was so confident. I said to Matt, I said, Matt, is it, is it possible? Like, no. No, that's below interchange. Okay. Great. So um, what ends up happening is he says to me, hey, buddy, we're going to start another company. I'll give you that. You can get us a merchant account for that. Great. Fill out an application. The bank says they want to see prior processing. And I said, hey, bud, I need to see your statements from your prior processing. And then I went back to him and I said, uh, well, Matt told me, he said, Mike, they're paying 3.99 or 3.9. And I said, no, no, no. He said 1.9. I went back to him and I said, Matt, why does he think he's paying 1.9? And he said he's paying, paying uh, what's known as interchange plus 1.9. And all he heard was 1.9. Interchange, if you don't know what that means and you fluff that, you hear, we're going to give you inter interchange plus 1.9. He thought he was paying 1.9. He thought interchange meant cost, and he was paying 3.9 for the last 10 years. He literally almost had a fit when he saw how much money he's wasted. Uh, and, you know, we have their business now. So um, when it comes to a merchant account, don't listen to anybody telling you that you're, unless it's PayPal or Stripe, but even PayPal, depending on the countries. We give flat rates. What that means is it doesn't matter if it's online or off, if it's a debit card or a credit card, if they, uh, if they uh, <clears throat> fill out the entire form or leave their address because you didn't want to collect their address. It doesn't matter if they live in the Ukraine or Costa Rica or Russia or South Africa or the Philippines or anywhere where, you're where you turn that on in your gateway you will pay 
the flat rate as we have published on our website or less if you're doing volume. And the more and more people that actually look at their statement, they're embarrassed to tell us what they're actually paying because they, because when you get quoted 2.49, that's called standard rate. Standard rate is this. When you swipe a credit card uh, in the United States, non-standard rates, you see that they're adding another 2%. And it's and but what you see is you'll see something like non-standard rate 2.9. But where you see 2.9, there's a little plus, and that means plus 2.9. So they're taking your 2.79 and adding 2.9 because it because you didn't swipe it and it was international. It was a debit. And those things can go up. You add all three of those, you're paying 7.9 percent. So if anybody is is paying yeah, has a merchant account, the easiest way to do it. Take your fees, divide it by your revenue last month, and that's your true cost. And when you realize how much you've been getting ripped off, contact me. Uh, Groove Ads is uh, an agency that is uh, active right now. Uh, this is an agency that's been in business for the last four years. They are partnering with us and rebranding and renaming their agency Groove Ads. <clears throat> if anybody needs help with Facebook ads, and I know certainly – uh, you know, in the last 10 days, it's not the time to start Facebook ads. Uh, they have uh, number one of uh, uh, Facebook ads, uh, Google AdWords, and YouTube all in one. And they do that for you. It's 10% of your ad spend or $2,500, whichever is less. So basically, you're getting a uh, an employee for $2,500 that does your ads. And for $5,000, uh, uh, or 10% of your ad spend, meaning you have to spend more than 50,000 for that to go up. Um, we will do you, not only your ads for Google, pay-per-click, uh, your you know, display banner ads with Google, uh, your YouTube ads and your Facebook ads. We will also build your funnels, write your email and do your copy for you. And that's five grand a month. You need to have a product um, you know, uh, obviously something that, that works, you need, uh, you know, that can be converted. It's not just a hands-off solution that says, Hey, you know, I have this resale rights product and, you know, we, you know, we, there has to be something of substance. You need to be either in the digital marketing, you need to be the talent. You need to be somebody that can get on camera and at least get, uh, the, the, the video done and understand, uh, how, you know, how to sell your product on camera. Uh, and they are also experts in, uh, in e-commerce. Uh, GrooveCon, that's our event. We're doing it uh, two days before the Marketers Cruise uh, every single year. The Marketers Cruise is going to be, uh, I believe, in January next year. It might even be February. I'm not sure. I have to get the dates. <clears throat> and GrooveCon is two days uh, before that. So you come on the Marketers Cruise, you get, to, you get to come to GrooveCon for free. And I believe all of you folks also get to come to GrooveCon for free. So if you want to come... The GrooveCon, when we announce the dates in the hotel, uh, you'll know that probably by September. And once we have that, you get two days. You get to come on uh, Thursday. Uh, Wednesday is registration. Thursday and Friday is the event. And then you go home. And if you booked on the Marketers Cruise, then you leave with about half the people in that room that will be going on the Marketers Cruise. Now, the Marketers Cruise, this will be our 15th annual year. And for about $1,100 to $1,200 uh, per person, you get an eight-day cruise with all of your, your, your meals uh, included. <coughs> Taxes, uh, surcharges, everything is included uh, in that price. So that is our company. We, uh, we have some services and we have software for e-commerce marketers, uh, which is like GrooveCart uh, and then GrooveFunnels. And this is, you know, as you, as you uh, know, that's a, a big staple of our brand. So, so let's talk about Groove Apps. What is Groove Apps? Well, Groove Apps, uh, two weeks from yesterday, is going to be retired. Groove Apps, if we log out, <clears throat> when you log in for... Um, for Groove Pages and Groove Cell, we didn't want. Well, this is an all-in-one solution where everything talks to each other. So when you log in, you you see that we have Groove Cell and Groove Pages. And as I said, we're going to be showing you here uh, when you click on the menu how this is going to also change within two weeks. We have a huge, huge update, huge update coming in two weeks. <laughs> a tremendous update to the login, the user interface, and we are taking Groove Apps. And we are retiring the domain. We may use it for something else in the future. We're not exactly sure. Uh, bear with me a second. I'm just going to take a little sip here. I'm a little parched. And <clears throat> you are now 
Groove Apps is going to redirect to um, right here to GrooveFunnels.com like this. All right. So <clears throat> when you want to log in to use Groove Pages or Groove Cell or Groove Mail, you'll go to GrooveFunnels.com. You'll click on login. And then as the software uh, services develop, they will be uh, here in uh, inside the menu uh, like, like you see here. <clears throat> All right. So the reason why we went with Groove Apps is at first the main brand was going to be called Groove, Groove Pages. That was going to be the name of the brand. But we were also going to have, as you know, Groove Mail, uh, you know, Webinar Groove or Groove Webinars. We're not sure which one. Groove Cell, Groove, uh, Groove Member, Groove Video, all that stuff. And we said, you know, we 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 kind of confused ourselves on this, and we said, okay, let's just make it one app where they log in just to Groove App. So they don't let, they don't have to log into Groove Pages and then log out, and then go to GrooveCell.com and log in a Groove Cell, and then they want to go back to their page builder. And so we were thinking, should we just keep it as GroovePages.com and have GrooveCell in there? We thought that wouldn't work. So we went with Groove Apps. <clears throat> okay. Again, this was a pass, and that's why it was confusing. But as we told you last month, we've bought the domain, uh, GrooveFunnels.com. We now own it. We've secured it. And we we even asked you, uh, what do you guys think of the brand, GrooveFunnels? You all uh, put a, you know one in the chat and said Groove Funnels is a great brand. So, so this is what the uh, <clears throat> this is what um, just gonna just hide this just here right now because um, that's not gonna be into the menu for for a little while. All right. So this is what the menu is gonna look like. Let me go to uh, Groove Pages just for a minute to give you an example of what I mean by a collapsed menu. Okay. Let's just load uh, this up just for now. And when we click on the blocks here, you notice this little arrow down how uh, this is collapsed. So this um, this menu, when you click here like this, let me just close this. When you click to see all of the different brands, we're going to be getting rid of the little G here, right? And we're actually going to put an icon like a page builder icon, a products icon, a mailer icon <coughs> will go there. And the menu is going to look like this. You'll click. Uh, let me see if I can do this let's see if if this will work at all let's see all right so we'll go here <clears throat> okay so now when you click on that menu you'll see something along the lines uh like this okay uh this is what's going to what's going to show up you're going to see um right up here will always be active but like i said with with icons uh boom, 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 boom. what was that a tab You'll see icons. Let's move that back here uh, for a page builder, etc. So you're going to see Groove Pages, Groove Cell, Groove Affiliate, Groove Mail, Groove Member, and Groove Video. This is this is a a doc that I made for for the team. Then you'll see a collapse, right? You'll have a you'll have something where all of these other things will be collapsed, and you'll open up. And what the collapses are going to say is the future of Groove Funnels. And then you'll click on Groove blog, Groove webinar, Groove desk, Groove calendar, Groove survey, Groove quiz, and instead of just saying coming soon, you're going to be getting updates, release dates, when it's coming out, some screenshots of the progress, and you get news on all those different things as they're coming. Now, Groove Cell, Groove affiliate, Groove pages is live now. A huge update is coming up in two weeks uh, on Groove affiliate. It's just going to be massive. <clears throat> um, we're releasing something called, uh, as you know. Um, uh, in June, uh, end of June, uh, Groove Mail, Groove Member, and Groove Video, and that's uh, Groove Mail. If you want to know what does Groove Mail uh, do, it does everything uh, uh, like Active Campaign or the, the, the best email marketing platforms out there. If you're going to ask uh, anything like, will it do this? Will it do that? Will it do this? <clears throat> Number one, our software will do everything that Kartra does, everything that Webinar Jam and ever webinar does when we release that here uh, everything that click funnels does and more yes we will have all that the integrations all that all that stuff uh is uh is all coming <clears throat> there's not a, a stone that will be left unturned but uh this right here will be what comes uh in june and uh now when you click on that little thing like this that says future products, it's going to open up like uh, like a collapse, and you're going to you're going to get information on the future products. Now, if you click e-commerce, it's going to give you Groovecart. Okay, 
<coughs> uh, and if you saw something that we had there before, it was basically uh, we're, we're whoops we're going to have um, you know uh, a Shopify extension for Groove Pages for Shopify uh, as well. Uh, but that's not going to be in the menu. We don't want to uh, announce that until uh, you know July in terms of being in the app. Then you're going to see something called Marketplace. You're going to have two different marketplaces. One is the affiliate marketplace. That's going to be like JVZoo or ClickBank. That's where you your product that you're selling will be listed for other people to find based on things like your performance, how many products it sold, or things like keywords if people search for it. Then we're going to have something called uh, <coughs> the Groove Marketplace. Okay, the Groove Marketplace is where you you uh, you'll find things like. Um, uh, other users that design killer templates with our system and they want to sell it, kind of like the ClickFunnels marketplace, that will be there. Then we will have uh, a tab called the App Store. Uh, that's going to be a multi-vendor marketplace. That's going to be coming likely later this year. Um, it's possible it'll be, it'll, it, it won't make it by December uh, because we really want to focus on you know getting all of these stuff uh, ready for you. <clears throat> now, this isn't complicated to create the marketplace, but we have to create... We have to create the marketplace technology, but what is the marketplace? Well, that is just like uh, we're going to open up an SDK. So we'll have an API documentation, but there'll be a place for app developers. So just like the iPhone and WordPress and Google Chrome extensions and uh, Shopify have a marketplace, if you say, Mike, are you going to, are you and your team, are you going to um, uh, do ML, MLM? Because you have every single thing the software can do, but you only go two tiers on your affiliate program. Is there any way you can go 10 or do this binary system? No. Well, no, if you could, it, the groove pages would blow up in the element. No, no, that's not what, what we're going to do. <clears throat> but I tell you what, in the past, that was no period or no exclamation point. Now it's no comma. You want to go out and create MLM for Groove Pages? Well, go right ahead. And then you will have a full SDK. Uh, all right, that's a, that's a software developer kit that will, I'm not going to get too complicated. If you know that there's a way that people know how to program for the iPhone and they could pull up the calendar function and they could pull up all these different things or with WordPress or Google Chrome or, or Shopify, it'll be the same thing. So we're going to give you 50 pop-ups. You don't like them? Well, there's an opt-in monster for um, opt-in monster for for group pages, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? And and what does that mean when you go to uh, the Shopify marketplace? Uh, and this is their multi-vendor marketplace. There are so many cool things in here. Quite frankly, uh, you know that. It's impossible for us at Groove Pages, uh, you know, to keep up with the amount of different uh, things that, you know, you just click marketing and people, and then there's a sub menu, contests and giveaways, right? There's no way we're going to be able to create all this. But imagine, imagine uh, a year from after we release it that there's all these different things out there. And you're like, hey, you know, this is cool for a one time $9. I'm going to buy this or $9 a month and I can get this wheel pop spin and, and so, yeah, we're going to take your request and anything you want us to add, we're going to consider it. But if you want us to, to make something called Easy Gift Auto Add to Cart, yeah, all these ninja things are cool. They are. But the marketplace is going to start telling you, the educators are going to be like, you need to get this app. It works. Great. There's, we're going to have an entire developers community. So next You'll see a tab, uh, a drop down for our services. You'll see Groove Pay and Groove Ads. You'll click. A little side thing will pop up giving you more information. You learn about our events, our workshops, our cocktail events that we're going to be doing every year in San Diego called Groove Fest, uh, training, how to get on the weekly webinars, Groove Academy, tutorials, uh, our partner program. If you're a JV broker, any current contest, how to get your affiliate links, our other products, and our blog, our help desk, our corporate site, and our Facebook group. Okay, so that is going to be the new menu in about uh, two weeks. That's going to show up when <coughs> you click over here like this. And then again, when you click on that, you're going to be getting the latest up-to-date information and screenshots. Um, and on top of that, when you uh, when you log in. OK, uh, like this, <laughs> instead of seeing this, that entire menu is going to be loaded over here. And then here you're going to have a slider. 
uh, with you know news, current events, latest updates. Uh, make sure to join the training. Learn about GroovePay. Learn about Groove Ads. Learn about you know the marketers' crews or GrooveCon. Every time you come in, there'll be a slider with all the information. So. Uh, I don't think that you're as excited about that uh, uh, as I am, but you know we've been working hard on making the app functional, and now we're taking it to the next step. And as I said, in about two weeks, what we're looking to have for you with uh, with GrooveCell, which we're going to demo right now for you, just, <clears throat> just some of the new things. Just some of the new things. There's plenty of uh, you know webinars out there. In fact, you can go to if you if you go to GrooveDigital.com forward slash webinar uh dash replay i think GrooveDigital.com forward slash webinar dash replay and i must have spelled digital wrong here groove digital.com let's see oh it's groove pages i'm sorry folks it's groove pages even we get confused here with all these different brands so donna if you could put that in the, uh in the chat for everybody GroovePages.com forward slash webinar replay <clears throat> in here uh it says uh, Groove Pages demo starts at one hour and nine minutes. Groove Cell demo starts at one hour and 51 minutes. There is just spectacular training going over every single thing that this can do going back from uh, day one. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to focus on. Um, <clears throat> I want to focus on just some of the new features and what's going to be coming in about two weeks. <clears throat> All right. So in Groove Cell, when you log in, you're going to have a beautiful stats dashboard, you know, with, with much more information uh, here. Uh, when it comes to the reporting right now, uh, it says transactions and that's all you'll have right now. <clears throat> but you will also have something, a little tab up here. OK, that uh, like a, a toggle switch, like an on off switch. OK, and if I can basically just show you what the, what I mean by that, this will take a second. We're just going to go into here, pick a website. And you'll have a toggle switch that's going to look like this here, like that, okay? And it's basically going to say uh, uh, charts or tables, right? And this is a, these are tables. These are transactions. You're actually going to get, you know, tables. And if you go to charts, you're not going to see all of the individual data. You will basically just see a chart, a report saying there have been 700, kind of like this type of stuff broken down for everything. Refunds, cancel billings, last, you know, all that, all that stuff will be in a chart form, you know, last seven days, last 30 days, you know, all that stuff. Right now, we don't have the charts. We only have the transactional data. Um, so the, um, all of this stuff that we have built out for uh, basically for affiliates and for reporting and seeing the different sales and all that that different type of stuff. Lots of new stuff I'm going to go over here for you in just a minute. <clears throat> it's it's all going to now go out for the for the affiliates. This navigation here is going to change as well. Um, but when you click on promotions right now, even when we go to um, you know, uh, uh, affiliate promotions and you click on here and you go to get your stats right now, we're just giving you this basic stats, right? We're going to be giving you, uh, basically, uh, <clears throat> stats that are going to look like, uh, like this. If I go to reporting and I see, I just want to see stats just for Joel Tyrion. Well, that's how your individual stats are going to look just like this if you're um, if you're Joel Tyrion. You're going to get a full transaction page like this on every single uh, sale that you make for any particular time frame. <clears throat> and furthermore, you'll have customer information. You'll be able to click in, get more information about the sale and all that stuff. You won't have you know the refund and download invoice here, uh, but but you'll you'll have. Uh, <clears throat> You'll have all the information as it pertains to you in transactions and in reports. Okay, so um, probably not in two weeks, but in 30 days. Let me put it to you this way. Um, in 30 days from today, in two weeks, we're going to have 80% of this stuff done. In 30 days from de today, we are looking to 100% complete Groove sell, meaning every little thing uh, here, like the coupons, the partner contracts, some of the things that say coming soon in the wizard. Um, <clears throat> uh, having, we we actually want to get Groove sell payments live for you. If you want us to do the processing for you, we uh, just so you know, we uh, for for reasons I can't get into right now, but we have 
taken our developers that are doing Groove Mail uh, and Groove Member, and for the next uh, uh, three weeks, we're moving them onto this project, and we're going to do a sprint, and we're going to 100% complete everything with Groove Cell uh, and Groove Affiliate. It'll be done, graphics, everything. It's, it's almost going to be not even like... Um, uh, you know, it's like every little item that I ever wanted uh, on the list, we've made a commitment in 30 days to do a massive sprint. And where this came from was with this coronavirus thing about let's get busy, let's push ourselves even more, let's double down on the development, let's get this stuff done, and then let's go attack Groove Mail and, and, and Groove Member and Groove Video, which I'm going to show you screenshots of as well, and get the, all that stuff ready. Uh, on or before time for June. But we don't want to roll all of these things together that by June 15th, <clears throat> that that all of this got done with Groove Cell. Groove Cell, uh, we want to get this ready, 80% of it in two weeks. And then by 30 days, two weeks after that, we're going to be completely done. Uh, so all those things, like I said, partner contracts, just some ninja stuff I'm not going to get into. A complete affiliate marketplace. Uh, like ClickBank or JVZoo is going to be here. And then uh, a major announcement coming in two weeks that I'm really, really excited to, to show you when we release this stuff. You, that you're going to have to wait for. And Donna's chuckling saying, Mike, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. All right, so let's talk about what's new. Okay, <clears throat> so number one in reporting, we got rid of before, this used to be called analytics, and then this said transactions, and then it said sales, and it said uh uh, affiliates. Well, we've just put everything right into here in transactions, everything. If you want to see it uh, with affiliates, then you say only affiliates. You want to see it without affiliates, you just say without affiliates. You want to see by a particular affiliate, you search for that affiliate. So it's all in one. We've uh, we've made everything. <laughs> we put so much thought into the way that you can do these filters down by a particular product or a particular price point in, uh, in a product. Um, you can do uh, things uh, here in terms of affiliates, as you just saw, and then just some cool things that, that helps you. We're going to have some Dunning reports uh, and uh, some some real good stuff. It's all put into Trello cards on, on proje projections, how much money you can expect in the next 30 days based on raw data, and then based on historical data with refunds and cancellations, we're going to uh, give you that projection as well. Um, so it's not just what you what is scheduled to bill, but based on your cancellation rate, your refund rate, what you can expect. And you can even forecast sales based on your sales that you did in the last 30 days. So I'm going to take a little sip and get on and show you some cool things. Okay. <clears throat> now, I don't know if uh, I have any of this data, but I'm going to go back to all time. <clears throat> now, there's something new here in the drop down. We have sales. Well, let me just first show you the, the legend here so that you can understand this. Anything that you see in white is a sale. Okay, so all these white things are sales. <clears throat> and what are we looking at right now? Um, this is going back to, let's just do today. Okay, let's see if I have enough data here. <clears throat> um, let's do today and yesterday because there's no refunds here. That's a good thing. So I'll just put the dates here like that. And wow, we had no refunds yesterday. All right, let's uh, let's go down a little further. Here's a refund. <clears throat> okay, so uh, anything that is in white is a new sale. So if I just want to see my sales, I just just go like this, and and now I can see sales. Okay, now if I want to see uh, anything that was a trial, like a dollar trial, and my upsell happens to be a trial. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> um, well then I click on initial payment. And now I have them both up here, so they're both going to show. So I'm going to get rid of the initial payment by crossing it out. So this can give me information on just the initial payment. If I want to see how did we do today or the last three days with just rebills, uh, I'll just click uh, rebills. And we're actually going to make this uh, with an apply button so you don't have to – it's not going to auto-calculate it. But So these are my, my rebills. Now, remember, uh, this stuff here, if for some reason I want the buyer details, I can drag – this stuff over here like that. I'm going to move it back, though, uh, like this, I believe. <coughs> Oops, I moved that a little bit too far. Let's move the buyer details. Where did that end up landing? Did I lose my buyer details? Let's uh, hit refresh here. Hopefully, I didn't lose my buyer details. 
All right, I think I did. Can that happen? Can I literally like remove it from the palette? Uh, okay, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll look into that. So you can also move these things around just like this. This is drag and drop. Uh, let me just log out of here, folks, and, and just come back and, and pull that up. Uh, that should just reset. It'd be good to see the buyer details there. Or maybe not. Maybe you guys don't need to see my buyer's names and emails. Uh, so we'll click uh, reporting, go back here. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> go back. I believe it was the last three days we said the 22nd through the 24th. All right, so again, we were talking about the legend, the white, uh, yeah, I got my buyer details back. All right, so the, the white are new sales, the green are rebills, the blue are trials, yellow is anybody that canceled, so we had a cancellation today. Okay, and anything that we see in red was a refund. <clears throat> now, this is more pink. If it was bright red, completely bright, you know, just regular, you know, fire engine red, that's a chargeback. OK, and then I've got one more I'm going to show you in just a minute. <clears throat> but what's really cool about this is you'll notice the customer name doesn't move when I when I scroll with the arrow key or I have a magic mouse on a on a on a Mac that lets me scroll this way. I can go all the way out. It shows me my profit. Uh, and here's something else I want to show you. This is going to be a little uh, more difficult uh, unless I just show you only the initial payments. <clears throat> we do something. Uh, no, not initial payments, obviously. Rebills. Apologize. We do something that no system in the world does. Uh, your accountants will absolutely love you. You will love it. When we used to go into things like Kartra Pay Kickstart and I saw a sale and somebody would say, how many sales did we do today? And when you have products at $99 a month, you'd be like, nine. They'd be like, well, how many of those are new? Because they could be rebills. And you're like, oh, well, I, I don't know. I have to actually check, go to the customer, click their history, and do all that nonsense. Us, I just look for how many things were white in that day. And I know that that is a sale that happened today. And if it's green, I know it's a sale I made in the past. But if I want to learn uh, what payment that is, <clears throat> um, if I'm just going to do this here, I'm going to go back last 30 days just to get some more data. What you're noticing is, number one, let me drag this out a little bit so you can see the full thing. We put GS, right? Because your accountant's going to be pulling data, and this is like a transaction gateway from your offnet or PayPal, and then this is our transaction ID, our internal transaction ID. And why that's important for us to put GS there, this allows your accountant to parse that data and do more with it. But we also, uh, I'm going to just do this here, you're going to notice that after the GS, we put what was the transaction? It was a payment, a trial, uh, uh, you know, or or refund. If there's a refund, it'll be REF and C CNCL if it's a cancellation. So, um, so we know just by looking at the transaction ID that it's also, um, you know, what type it is. Nobody else does things like that. But on top of that, this is what I wanted to show you: is look at this number that comes after it. This is the first the first successful payment, the second successful payment, and just going to go down and see if we have. Uh, and, you know, we haven't been open that long. I'm just looking to see if there's, okay, here's somebody, their fourth successful payment. So I can look just at that information and know that, wow, I've had this customer for 48 months, right? Uh, but no other software, you know, allows you to do that. So I'm going to now show you um, uh, some information you can get on the customer, right? Uh, you can click here right on the customer and you get all of the information uh, that's necessary on the customer. If the customer says they want an invoice, you can download invoice. You can cancel future payments, refund the transaction if anything applies. Here's all your information uh, on the customer. We're also going to be adding here in the next two weeks, you'll also get all the other products that they purchased and other transaction IDs that are related to this customer's email address. Uh, <clears throat> and if there was an affiliate. Now, let's find somebody um, here. With, let's just look at a sale. And let me click on an affiliate here, okay? Um, and see somebody that had an affiliate sale. Okay, so let's look right here. I click on Anthony uh, Scatel, uh, and we look at the affiliate. Now, I can change the affiliate here. That's a new feature that we've added. I can also change the, uh, the commission here as well. Um, I can refund the transaction, all that good stuff. So let's now move over to the last thing I want to show you that's pretty cool, something new here. <coughs> You, if you haven't noticed, there's something here called suspected fraud. All right. And 
I'm going to get rid of the sales because I just want to see suspected fraud. And I didn't see any in our regular reports. Okay, so we haven't had any in the last month. But let's go back just all time. Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three different people, and these are different transactions, that our system is tagging and putting this weird color. So if I was looking at my sales today and I saw all these whites and greens and blues and then I saw this, I'd be like, whoa, 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 wait a second, what's going on here? So let's take a look. Let's click on this and find out what's going on. Francis Herdes is a person, is a purchase, right? And it'll tell us what the fraud alert is, whether the credit card is suspicious. Let's see what's going on in this case. Okay. Well, in this case, it appears that the customer and the affiliate have used the same IP address. Some vendors, including myself, and you should as well, some vendors prefer to void these commissions because it may be that the buyer, this customer right here, is, and if you look at even Herdy's in the email, right? And then uh, it's different here as the affiliate, but our system checks if there's, we track every single time a customer logs in and an affiliate logs in, and we keep a database. And if those IPs cross uh, when a sale is made, some vendors prefer to avoid these commissions because it may be that the buyer signed up for our affiliate program and used the discount uh, and used the affiliate program as a discount coupon or rebate. So now what I can do is I can just go right here and I can say, you know what? Uh-uh, you're not getting away with this. And I could click no affiliate. But I'm a little little wiser than that. Before I do that, you know what? Hold on a second. I know who this affiliate is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let me just go over to uh, Groove Apps uh, here so I can keep both tabs open and don't have to keep going back and forth. I'm going to go over to my Affiliates tab. <coughs> Let's see here. And I'm going to put that Affiliates email address in. And let me just show you some other things that we can do. I don't just I, I can just put in uh, ADIT and, and any portion of that as well. Their email, their first name, their last name. So ADIT, and I should get an affiliate that, uh, that comes up. Okay, there it is. Adida Noe. OK, and if I put the email address in for the sake of argument, we'll see that the same person comes up. So let's see. Here's Adita. I can click here and uh, see, you know, information, lifetime commissions, what's happened here. And by uh, clicking here, I can see that they sent me 19 impressions, 14 uniques and three sales. <clears throat> All right. They've made me fourteen hundred dollars. You know what? I'll probably let this slide. All right, let's go check the other affiliate. I'm, I'm going to let that one slide. Uh, now, normally what I would do is click not mark as fraud, right? So I don't have to see it anymore. I'm going to leave this so I can do demo videos because if I don't have uh, anybody in here as fraud, I'll never be able to show off this feature. Now, here's another one I'm going to look at. Let's look at this one. Customer's name is PK So. And same thing. The reason for the fraud is we have the, the buyer named PK So with this email address <coughs> is the same. You see what they do? They, they, they sign up like this, uh, but it's the same thing. So what are we going to do now? I'm going to take Biz Innovation, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to check here and see how they perform. Okay, look at this. If I was too friggin' zealous and said, you know what? I'm too smart for you, buddy. I'm going to take your affiliate commission away. I'm not going to do that. I normally should in most, in, in some cases, but look at this. This customer has sent me 300 visitors, made me seven sales. This is the type of information that I want at hand to be able to say, you know what? I don't want to piss off this affiliate by getting petty and taking $198 away from them when they're sending me maybe $3,500 a month in sales right? I should. I mean, I could. I'd be in my right, but I'm not going to. But what if I would have looked at this information, taking that name, popped it in here and searched for my affiliate, and I saw one impression, one unique, and one sale? At that point, I'll probably just go and, and, and kill the commission and say, no, 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 you're a customer, but you can't sign up to my affiliate program. Think you're slick. Click the link and then get paid for the sale too. That's literally like putting in a 50% coupon discount at my checkout. And I'm happy to give you 50% off if you're actually going to join my affiliate program and send me traffic. But if you think you're just going to do it, uh, you know, uh, you know, the old trick, ClickBank trick of getting every product at a discount, <clears throat> not going to happen. Okay, so now 
Uh, so what I wanted to show you was that we have that. That's a new feature that we haven't shown before. Next, this is brand new. Donna, did I show you this, the failed transactions? <clears throat> have you seen this? I have. I really, really love this. I'm so excited about it. Okay. So um, what I need to do, excuse me, <coughs> I'm going to go to pay kickstart. And I'm going to give you an example. And we've gotten in trouble like this. We didn't we didn't know that the system worked this way. So I'm going to look at uh, Pay Kickstart, the way they do it. We're going to click on Payments, and we're going to click on Transactions. <clears throat> and over here, we're going to click on Failed. So we click on Failed, and here's what I want you to, to notice, okay? Uh, I want to look for, okay, look at this. Clement Gamma and Clement Gamma. Um, we uh, this one looks familiar. This is the system trying to rebuild twice. But the way the system is doing it is it's just giving a report of every single one. <clears throat> and two things can happen. This person, Dan Jacob, let's say I don't see him uh, right now, right? You see him here, here, and here. So let's say I, I didn't see him. And I was like, well, this, this failed. Let me click uh, in here and click on. Uh, this is complicated. There's a way in here I'm supposed to be able. Oh, right here. Okay. This is called UI, folks. I can just click right here and click rebuild payment, right? So let's try to rebuild this customer's payment. I'm not going to do that right now. <clears throat> but if I did, here's a couple of problems. Number one, uh, I might I might not have known that uh, that this that he that it was successful. If I go into successful transactions, there's nothing here, nothing here that tells me that this was later collected. So what does this data actually give you? I mean, what, what do you actually do with this? If I don't know, if I know that it was canceled, but I don't know that we later collected it, why give me this information? When we went in one day and we went rebuild, 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 ooh, we got this guy, rebuild, rebuild, ooh, we got this guy, rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. The next thing that happened is people go to our help desk, hey, you build me twice. No, we manually build you. We didn't realize that the system tries multiple times, but when it succeeds, it puts it in. The other thing is when I try to do a report and I want to see how many canceled billings do I get, well, it's adding the same – it's trying to do the same thing. There's not – there's no intelligent data here. There's no love that went into this, okay? If you look at the way that we did it, what we did is you will uh, – let's just do the uh, <clears throat> last seven days here. Um, let me – Let's see here. Let's do uh, last 30. I'm looking for something in particular. <clears throat> okay, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so if you see this person's name, uh, Jamie Aduello, you will not see them <clears throat> later down here. As soon as it happens a second time, or the, the, the latest attempt is always at top, but what happened to the previous attempts? Well, like our system works, you'll just know, you click here and you can get additional information. So I can look at the failed transaction logs, and I can see that we had a fail, we had a Dunning fail, we had another fail, and I have every right right now, with the exception that today is the 24th, I really <coughs> necessarily shouldn't do this, but let me, let me do one over here on a different day. Uh, let's do this one right here. <coughs> Okay. Um, well, either way, I can click retry right here. And when I click retry, it's going to tell me if it's successful or not. Uh, and if it is, then, okay, unsuccessful. And now when we go back to that person, I believe it was here. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, well, I forget which one it was, to be quite frank. Oh, no, it moved it up to the top. It moved it up to the top right here because it was the latest attempt. That's right. Okay, so the manual failed, all right? But, <clears throat> so we have looked at uh, the best practices from a white paper from Chargeify on exactly when to bill a customer, how many attempts, everything like that. It's all automated. <clears throat> all of this stuff happens. Donna, remind me to, um, remind me to, no, never mind. That's not going to work. <clears throat> yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remind me to uh, to 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 uh, have on roof try our other gateways as well. Like if people have multiple gateways, maybe maybe that particular merchant account isn't working, and maybe you could try a different gateway. It'll go through. <clears throat> so I got to tell him to, to do that. Okay. So 
Next is here, I get something that's green. Okay, so what that means is we see that the initial transaction failed, then we tried the next day, then we tried four days later, and it succeeded. So now I know that uh, I had canceled billings, it's just the system telling me, uh, and it, but it also tells me when it was successful. And that's why, you know, there's not many people that are doing color coding or anything like this. This really, really helps. <clears throat> Let me show you the, the next thing that we can do as well. I can basically um, say I only want the, the unable to, the, the pending, right? Unable means our system has given up. We, we are no longer trying. We're not going to try billing a customer's credit card every four days for the next seven years. At a certain point, we have to stop. Okay, once that's done, what we can do is I can click export this data. And of course, I've got different filters here uh, if I want to know just based on a funnel or an affiliate or whatever. Uh, and I can export uh, all of this data or this particular page or whatever the case is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an Excel spreadsheet with all of this data. And I can have a nice girl call the customer with this phone number, uh, <clears throat> buyer details. Uh, the phone number isn't here, and this doesn't. But Don, I put a little note there. We got to get the phone number here, um, and it'll go out in your uh, in your export report. Uh, and you can now have somebody call and say, "Hi, this is Diane. I'm calling from Groove Digital. Uh, we noticed that you made your first and second payment for the Groove Pages lifetime, uh, but your your other one didn't go through. I oh, didn't go through. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, right. Yeah. No. Yeah. My credit card got stolen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. I definitely love Groove Pages. Here's my new card. Cool. Okay." Next thing uh, that I can't show you today, uh, but <clears throat> now I'm not even going to show you a video of it uh, because I, I'd be the only one hearing the sound. But just so you know, we have something that I don't even know if it's live right now. Um, let me see. I don't think it's live just yet. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, it's called self-billing, but we're going to just change it to billing. Donna, I don't know if you're aware of this, but in about two days, we're release releasing a self-billing portal. Uh, so any customer at any time can go to billing dot uh, billing.groovecell.com uh, and they can put in their email address and it's going to send them a link and that link will open up a portal for every purchase they ever had and it'll have something like this these little tabs like the product, if there was an affiliate bonus, their downloads. And you could turn on, if you want, it's a toggle switch, you could turn on refund. They can they can self-refund. They can self-cancel if you turn it on or you could hide these things. Uh, uh, you'll, you'll have, uh, there'll be a support tab. So the buyer support information, the affiliates bonus support, all that stuff is going to show up in their self-billing portal. And they're going to have a little button here that says update credit card. So they can go in and change their credit card manually. So that didn't take us seven months to build or a year to build. That's actually going to be, uh, going to be going live, hopefully by Unroop told me uh, this week, so it, it should be live by Friday. So we've got a full self-billing portal uh, that's going live <coughs> as well. So, uh, folks, GroupSell uh, is ready. It's not as a pretty, pretty for your affiliates because what we wanted to do is get all of this stuff working. And Unroop had to show me for the vendor. I wanted to do this, do this, do this. And then once the affiliate goes to see all of these reports, it's basically like they, they see the same reports with the, the filter of the, you know, the, the affiliate, right? And they, they, they get everything that we get here. So in two weeks, major overhaul into, into graphics, data, intelligence, uh, churn and burn or, or, um, uh, Dunning, there's all these different terms, lifetime value. We've got amazing stuff. I've built <clears throat> the ultimate system that I've always wanted for my business. This thing is solid. It's bug free. Um, uh, I'm not going to go into some stuff that you that you can find in that demo at groovepages.com forward slash webinar dash replay, or I think you can just go to groovepages.com forward slash webinar. I think I replaced that page with the webinar too. So uh, so that's uh, groovepages.com. Let me just do that one more time. Groovepages.com forward slash 
uh, webinar or webinar replay, either one, it's the same page. <clears throat> and in here, there's a full demo of GrooveSell where I'm showing things that, that you can do with uh, paying affiliates, um, uh, you know, the way that, you know, uh, paying uh, different affiliates works and, and doing clawbacks and um, just, just really, really cool stuff. Uh, we're gonna have this stuff is gonna be dressed up a little bit. Right, uh, there's, there's going to be some nicer looking icons. I kind of like this. I swear to God, I just kind of like the simplicity of this. Uh, it it kind of has like you know that there are certain systems out there like Slack, uh, you know, that just they're just like, hey, just focus on the function, and you know, it, it's free of icons and color schemas and stuff like that. We're we're gonna have our 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 user interface guy go in there and actually you know make this stuff uh, actually better. But you uh, you're gonna see something else uh, here as well. <clears throat> in uh, I believe in reporting we're gonna be adding uh, something called customers, right? Uh, because right now we just give you transactions, but you see the way that you see affiliates. We're gonna have something called customers, and when you when you see, let's assume this was a customer, you'll click on this, and you'll get all the information on the customer, uh, every purchase he's ever had, uh, emails that he's opened, things like that, and you'll also see leads. Uh, and we're going to be uh, adding something in the wizard when you go to the product wizard. Again, this is all stuff coming out in the next two weeks, and you go to uh, your product, and you get to step, uh, <clears throat> I think. Um, eight, uh, seven, you'll get to fulfillment. And we're actually gonna be switching this around. We're gonna change funnel than fulfillment. So uh, number seven is gonna say funnel and the eight will be fulfillment. Not that it matters, but we're just trying to make this, uh, make this more logical. But basically, when you get over here to fulfillment, um, we are going to have something here like this. Let me just show you so I can give you an example. All coming in the next uh, two weeks, folks. And again, there uh, I said two. There's there's a two-week milestone, and then uh, another two weeks after that is a rapid sprint. If something doesn't make the first two weeks, it's going to make the next two weeks. Uh, <clears throat> but basically, what you're going to see here um, in fulfillment, you're going to see another tab here called email integration, like this. And you'll click email integration. And then over here, it's going to say Groove Mail. And that'll say coming soon because that's not coming until July. Or you'll see third party. And then third party is going to basically, you'll choose active campaign, webinar jam, go to webinar, ever webinar, MailChimp, AWeber, get response, send lane, send share, all those different uh, things out there. Eye contact, uh, constant contact, every every single one out there that you can imagine is all gonna be here. And then you can integrate uh, that. And then when you go over here, two steps down more <clears throat> to affiliates, and I should never be working the live one, I should have went into the demo, but that's okay. When you go here, you're gonna see one more thing right here, and it's gonna say email integration. And when you click on that, you're gonna see the same thing. You're gonna see something that says integrate with Groove mail coming soon or integrate with a third party. You'll hit the red button. It'll open up and that way you can you can send all of your customers to uh, your autoresponder and send all of your affiliates or JV brokers to an autoresponder. And then, of course, when Groove mail goes active, you'll be able to uh, to do that uh, as well. OK, <clears throat> so I think. Donna, that's everything that that is sort of new that uh, that I went over on some webinars, but we never went over on the training. I'll probably be back uh, in two weeks to show you the new Groove Cell, uh, and uh, maybe uh, you know, and then the two weeks after that, I'll come back for the final Groove Cell and let Tom focus on the trainings in between. I might pop in for the first ten minutes on Tom's trainings and maybe do some up updates to. Groove pages, but I'll probably let you and Tom do that. You guys know that software as good as me now at that point. Uh, so what I'm going to do now that you know it's been a, a two-hour marathon here, I'm just going to um, uh, ask Donna if we had uh, any questions related to Groove Cell and Groove pages that people needed us to demo. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know a lot of people. Uh, uh, you know, look, I don't want to say your name. It says I have not canceled. Why does it say I've canceled? Uh, just go to. The, and What's also that? Oh, you did. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's all taken care of. Um, so, uh, in terms of questions, we've handled a lot. Most of them were, you know, will it have this? Will it have that? So, I want to reiterate what I said last yeah. week on, on our sales what webinar. Yeah. Those questions is that you know we are designing the software. And you notice how I say we. Mike is designing the software. <laughs> no, um, Donna, we absolutely. Please use that. We're a team here. Uh, 
but we really want to make it as as robust as possible. So the the answer to the question, will it have this, will it for that, is almost definitely yes. Like if if a competitor can do it, we will probably do it. The question then becomes when. So um, we are working really hard to get ready for launch. And we're planning on having Groove Mail uh, released before we launch. Oh yeah, Donna, I gotta show the screenshots. I'll let you finish. I forgot I was gonna show people screenshots of Groove Mail, Groove Tags, Groove Member, and Groove Video. Yeah. So while you would, do that, I'll get that ready. That go would ahead. be great. You know, go ahead and, and get those up and I'll I'll finish talking. Um, sure. It's a little difficult for us to show you what Groove Mail will do and tell you all the features that it will do because it's not even complete yet. Rest assured that when it comes out, it will be absolutely competitive compared to all the other um, software out there that handles autoresponders and email broadcasts. Um, so all of that training is coming. It's coming in time. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, part of what I am um, turning my focus onto is working on uh, Groove Digital Academy, getting that up and running and getting some even bare bones trainings in there. So forgive me, it's going to be me screen sharing because I feel inspired to do so. And it's not going to be polished and they won't be pre-written scripts, but um, we're going to get some training in there for you uh, as soon as we possibly can. So. All right. Yeah, that, that's it, Donna. That, that I've got everything ready. Yeah, and uh, so uh, forgive us, folks, if we're we're gonna if we're basically saying if you have a question. Yeah, if ClickFunnels, uh, as we said before, ClickFunnels, Infusionsoft, Active Campaign, all those different things, Kartra, Webinar Jam, Ever Webinar, when they come out, <clears throat> when they're you know released, we will have that and more. It'll be it'll be more up to date, more advanced, more technology. Again, the only thing that we will not have is a sales pipeline like Infusionsoft. We're never going to probably do that. There's just a company that just does it so well for like nine dollars a salesperson. We're going to integrate directly with them. It's called PipeDrive. Uh, we did the same thing when uh, when I owned Kartra. Uh, it's just it's just it's ten times better than what Infusionsoft does, and it's it's just uh, so awesome. But everything else um, we will have, and you'll be able to do. Uh, amazing things. There's only uh, two things that I do want to mention. Uh, well, one thing that I do want to mention that uh, that other people don't do that is worth mentioning. We will allow you to import URLs. So we are working, um, and it's possible this will be ready in 30 days, if not about six weeks, that you'll be able to, when you're logged in to Groove Pages, click Import URL, give a URL, and you could take any page, CNN. Huffington Post, AOL.com, or or uh, a preview uh, of uh, not a preview, a preview of a site at Theme Forest um, in any marketplace, you know, where there's a public page for a ClickFunnels uh, type page, uh, optimized press, uh, lead pages, uh, a competitor page, anything. You put a URL in, and we will pull that entire page structure in column by column, uh, take the button, style it, the whole nine yards, and then pull it, pull it into our editor. Um, if you can prove that you own the domain, we'll let you import the images and the text. If you can't prove that you own the domain, and we're going to have different ways of doing that. There's, there's ways of, of, of being able to do that. <clears throat> um, what, what we're, um, uh, you know, we'll probably maybe say, you know, have an email sent from this domain or maybe put a text file up in your, up in your domain. D there's different ways to do that. Um, and once you do that, We'll let you import the actual images and the text itself. But uh, images and, 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 and text can be copyrighted. We're hosting these pages. We will not suffer the consequences or put you in a position of getting a fine from getting images for images uh, or videos or things that you don't have the rights to use. Uh, so uh, cop, sales copy, all that stuff. And basically, if you want to quote Funnel Hack, uh, you don't really need those people's images. You want to go in and replace the picture of them with you and put your headline and things like that. So we, we'll be able to import the exact style, font, size, color, shading, gradients, everything will come in. And you'll, you'll basically be able to look at their page like a template. 
And so what does that mean? Can you import funnels? Yeah, well, just put all the funnel pages in and they're going to be funnels. We're also going to be releasing group funnels uh, very, very soon, which is basically just uh, <clears throat> over here on your on your page builder where it says pages, you'll see something that says uh, funnels. And it's, it's a way to organize your funnels and, and that stuff. So now, Donna, I said I was going to show uh, some just some quick screenshots. This right here is uh, Groove Mail. Uh, let me see. We'll go backwards here. So this is just, again, just some screenshots of Groove Mail. Uh, this is basically everything we do is walking you through a wizard. So uh, where are you sending from? You know, the at the SMTP, we, we handle the mail for you. But if you want to do a drop down and use your own SendGrid account, or your own ma your own Mailgun account. I've had some people that basically even told me I'm not going to use Groove Mail, Mike. And I'm like, why? And they're like, I want to use my own SMTP. And I'm like, oh, we we let you use your own SMTP. Oh, really? So I could use yours to do the tagging and the and the design the email, but I can send through SendGrid. Yeah, if you want, right? So you have the choice with us. Uh, next, <clears throat> your communication, like who gets it, and if anybody subscribed to this list, exclude anybody here. It'll tell you how many leads. Uh, you'll go save and next. You'll move up. Are you doing a single email or a split test? And then you're going to have a builder, and the builder is going to look just like uh, like uh, like Groove Pages. You'll be you'll, you'll have pre-made templates, all this stuff. And here you'll notice, enter the subject line and enter the preview text. So if you've ever noticed when you get an email, let's just see what happens when I pull up my email. <clears throat> you see this stuff right here. What, what uh, this is the the uh, the subject line and this is the preview text, right? And most likely, if I click right here, his email is going to start with this. Okay, this is it. Let's see. Okay, this is it. It's a preview. What we will allow you to do is <clears throat> we will allow you to change the preview text to put something more dynamic, uh, as opposed to. Hey everyone! So last week I was taking a walk, right? Right. That's what your email said, right? The 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 the, this, the preview text in the email. If they see, hey everyone, I just wanted to say dot dot dot. That's not exciting. So you could put a cool subject line and then a preview text that says something. The seven secrets on blah 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 blah. You follow what I mean? It's just it's like a sub headline. It's a way to make the email inbox have a subject line and a sub headline, as opposed to hey first name. Just wanted to say dot 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 right so just you know uh then when you when you get in uh you see that you could send it now schedule for later save it as a draft uh and then you'll move on uh <clears throat> you know to uh you know you're done so let's go now to the next one here um donna can you tell john john cordetta that uh, his texts are showing on the screen Thanks. Will do. much appreciated now this is group video we're gonna click right here uh, Groove Video is basically like our version of Wistia. You'll come in, you'll click upload a video, you'll upload a video, and then you go to the next thing here and you'll choose display. Uh, you can either, uh, you know, embed it or give you a pop-up as responsive or fixed, or it'll just integrate directly with Groove Pages and you can just drag a video and then just uh, click, you know, this video in my Groove Pages library. But this is if you want to put it on a third-party website. The next, uh, <coughs> um, uh, let's see here. Uh, this this here, when you clicked on a video trigger button, it, it, what's your button text, little things like that. Uh, moving on, uh, let's see here. This sh just shows you more stuff, more of the different options. In your settings, you can upload a splash image, put a, a logo watermark on there. Do you want to show controls where people can, can do a scrub bar? Do you want to mute it on the start? Different skins that we have, autoplay, uh, put some share icons, uh, different things like that. Call to actions, you'll click add a new call to action, and that means that you can have a button show up in the video or an opt-in form show up in the video. Do you want to tag leads? Yes, let's create a new tag. Spoke about that earlier. Basically, say if they see they'll uh, at this point of the video, add this tag. Uh, and then end actions, what happens at the end? What do we want to do? Just end the video, restart it, uh, play another video, or redirect to another URL. <clears throat> All right, next. Um, here is a group member. Uh, <clears throat> and whoops. So this is basically uh, you click uh, create new membership, and this comes up and you give it a name. 
Okay, uh, and then you have this wizard here where you put some information. Uh, is, is do you need a password to access this or not? You go to the next step. Let's uh, open up the builder or create a post, right? And if we open up the builder, that creates a wizard. This is gonna gonna uh, we're gonna have like a Groove Pages type of uh, membership site builder. Very easy, drag and drop a headline, a video to the post, and all that stuff. Really exciting stuff. All different themes and stuff. Uh, that's if you click on new post. Uh, do you want to have comments? Uh, and when you have different posts, this is just an example. Like this might say video, uh, you know, uh, introduction, uh, AdWords course. We just put first post, second post. And then you can say whether or not they can add a comment onto those posts just by uh, enabling all or turn yes or no. Moving on to the next step, access levels. Uh, oops, that's moderation. Uh, access levels, I can go and I can add a level right here, boom, and then I have standard, I'll say, what is the name of the level? I can call it free, pro, diamond, you know, uh, anything I want. And then I will get another column here of each membership, and then I just put a toggle switch on or off if, there, if that particular membership is allowed to see that post. So right here, it's a standard. Let's say this right here just said, said uh, gold, I could shut off this post for standard, but leave it on for, for this one. <clears throat> um, now, now the tagging system uh, here is going to look like uh, like this. When you click on uh, Groove Tags, this was just sent to me yesterday from Unroop. Remember, I told you here in the menu, you'll go to uh, Groove Mail, and it'll uh, you'll you'll click on that, and you'll see tags or broadcast and and all that different stuff. So when you click on setting tags, which are important because you want to set tags even in Groove Cell or Groove Pages, even now because those are ready. So you'll see that we have we can add tags for pages, add tags for uh, you know for our affiliates or products. But when we build out all of Groove Pages, uh, I mean Groove Mail or all Groove Funnels, I should say, uh, you can you you'll have all of these different things, and then you'll say, okay, let's say for an affiliate, if this happens, then what is the the uh, the consequence? If a customer sees this video, or if a customer signs up for this affiliate program, then uh, send out uh, this email, send out this text message, give access to the affiliate portal training, whatever that may be, things that you set up. And last thing I'm going to just mention uh, on there <clears throat> is that we are going to um, be doing something they wouldn't do at Kartra. I was outvoted by my other two partners for the most ridiculous reason. With GrooveSell, you will be able to have somebody buy your product and instantly become an affiliate. Instantly become an affiliate. So that way, inside of your members area in Groove Member or an email that goes out when they buy your product, they could get a welcome message and then they could get a PS that says, PS, by the way, if you know anybody that's interested, we've already taken the time to sign you up as an affiliate. Uh, click here to get email copy, social media banners and everything like that. You don't even have to ask them to sign up for your affiliate program. That is called butterfly marketing. We will also have that if somebody opts into a form or joins a membership site, you can set a rule that says if they do this, then sign up for the affiliate program. All it is is a rule. All it is is simply saying uh, this little thing right here. Let me just open that up again. We're simply yeah, saying. Some questions, Mike, about how our affiliate program worked, where they get their links, why there are three of them. So if we can demonstrate yeah. this while coaching on that, that would be great. Absolutely. So <clears throat> what? Um, getting back to the butterfly marketing thing, um, we will have if somebody uh, buys a product or fills out a form or or you know joins a free membership or anything like that, then create affiliate link at <clears throat> this level or whatever, and then you could you could create an affiliate program, uh, you know, for somebody just for opting into a form. This is butterfly marketing 101. This is viral marketing, and um, why that's important, you know, uh, when when I spoke to uh, you know my my previous partner. Uh, uh, Hector, <clears throat> I said, hey, Hector, we can do this, um, you know, with, with Kartra. Uh, he said, no, 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 no. Uh, we cannot uh, we cannot have a customer uh, that signs up at a forum uh, become an affiliate uh, without signing our affiliate agreement. And this was the solution I said to him. I said, okay, I, I understand. Cross T's, dot I's. You don't want to opt somebody into the affiliate program. So what you do in that case is you make them an affiliate and then you send them a link that they click to confirm they join the affiliate program and then get to a page that says, 
uh, click here, uh, you know, uh, uh, check this box if you want to join the affiliate program and you have the terms of service there. And he was like, no, no, no. And I was like, really? Are you not understanding how, how I made my first million dollars? Like how people will go nuts for this different thing and <clears throat> just was not was not going to be done. Well, maybe we'll revisit it. Uh, there's too many things right now to be done. I was like, this this is literally in your if then. It's if then, buddy. You just you know if this happens, then that happens. You can do that. <clears throat> Never got done. Never got done. Not going to happen with this uh, platform. So now, Donna, you wanted me to show people uh, uh, how our affiliate program works. So um, any time that you are anywhere in in uh, the Groove apps, which will become Groove Funnels very, very soon. You just click on the burger menu. And why we call this a burger menu over here is because it looks like a Big Mac, right? It's like, you know, <coughs> or uh, bread, meat, and, and bread, right? So you click oh, a little yeah. burger. What's you that? You can see the layers of the bread and the meat. And the <laughs> exactly. So we click on this. And uh, now we've done this automatically. You When you buy our products, uh, Groove Cell, Groove Pages, Groove Funnels, whatever you know, uh, you, you buy the product and you get access to to this membership. You automatically, I butterfly marketing you. You automatically get your link. <clears throat> so now, when I go into my products and I show you here that I have different landing pages, uh, and yes, you will be able to uh, simply uh, click right here. Uh, in two weeks, you won't have to walk through this annoying wizard <coughs> that I uh, <coughs> I keep asking, please, 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 just get that thing done. He says, there's one thing I have to do with the save and next, but it, uh, trust me, even on a demo, if I miss something and I got to go show somebody, going back through these 10 steps is uh, is quite, uh, you know, and it's only 30 seconds, but uh, right now it's just all filler talk that I have to do to, to get there. It'd be a good time for me to take a sip of, of my water here. And it's great filler talk, by the way, Mike. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that, Tom. <clears throat> All right. So if you notice, I have something called custom landing pages. So what do I have? <clears throat> My index page, which allows you to promote the secret back door, right? So <clears throat> if um, I that I set up earlier in the contents, and this cannot be changed. This is hard-coded. So we have a secret back door. So when we go back to this dashboard and I click on the product index page, <clears throat> I simply uh, go, uh, let's just, we don't need this anymore. I paste this here like this and look at that. I've been sent to the secret back door. Let's now uh, go to link number, uh, uh, go over to here and see <clears throat> what else do we have. I have a secret back door. Let's click on that and see what that is. Uh, <clears throat> lifetime secret backdoor. In fact, I don't even know what the heck this is. This might have been a demo. What is what is that? No, that was before we moved the landing page. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And that only shows to uh, certain affiliates here, and and then we made that public for everybody. So I could I could probably trash that, but I'm not going to. These people uh, uh, see those links. So now we have direct to check checkout. <clears throat> skip VSL. So what is this for? Well, let's see if everybody has that. Yes, it's available to all affiliates. So I go here and I have direct to check, check out Skip VSL. Now, if you notice, this page looks very, very similar, but it's not. This is the pricing page that right before, see, see, it's step two of two. So when somebody actually goes to the secret backdoor page, the first page, right? And they wait for the, you know, for the video, uh, you know, to let them buy. I know that you can get through it through the pop-up. I'm just going to do that here. You see, this is not the same video. This right here, if you look at the time, is only a minute and 48 seconds, this entire video. This is me telling people, wait, before you buy, this is a warning. If you're the type of person that wants perfect software, come back when it's $99 a month. If you want group pages for $497, right now under the beta program, well, Buy it, understanding that we're in beta and it's not perfect. You're going to get on these webinars and we're going to basically, you know, show you what's new weekly. And if you're not happy with that, by all means, come back. So this this page, you might think, looks the same when you clicked on on your affiliate link here. And so now you're asking me, Mike, OK, I get that. So why why should I promote this link? You shouldn't. You shouldn't unless unless you have written 
a blog review, right? And you've written a blog review and it's 4,000 pages and it's the pros and I'm talking a professional blog review and you've got a video of you on YouTube talking for 16 minutes saying, here's one of the things that I like about Groove Pages. And in my opinion, some places where they can improve. Now I've heard they're gonna have share fun, blah, blah. You've done one of those really cool videos. Now, somebody has done a review, they're ready to buy. If they're ready to buy, do you want to send them to the to the first page that has a 19 minute video that that delays the add to cart button or you might want to send them here i'll give you another example hey everybody on facebook live join me i'm going to be doing a training on how to use groove pages and okay you got 200 people on there uh hey danielle can you show us how to do this yeah let me show you click here you drag and you drag. oh this is great now listen you can get a lifetime access to this and all you need to do is click the button below and the button is to your affiliate link, right? And I'm gonna also give you a training program with me for four weeks on how to build pages and group pages, right? It's a typical affiliate offer or what we call, you know, an expert teaching you how to do this. And when you buy from my link, you'll get this and you'll get that and you'll get my, my little course on this. Now, if you just had somebody on a one hour training program, basically what you wanna do is you wanna send them to this page it's direct to checkout. That's all that is. You don't want people on a one hour webinar and then you tell them to go buy and they got to watch a 19 minute video basically re-explaining everything you did. Okay. So does that make sense? Cool. Okay. Next, we, um, we have a webinar that, uh, that we did here, but you see, I only made this available to Mike Long. You don't see this one that goes to omgfunnels.com. That was a private web webinar uh, with him. Now, uh, so when you look in here, you don't see it say private webinar. You see webinar replay. So you're seeing this. You don't see this because your name is not Mike Long. So when I click on webinar replay, well, that's available to all affiliates. <clears throat> okay. So if I now click on this and copy this link for the webinar replay, well, guess where we're going to go? We're going to go now to groovepages.com forward slash webinar replay. So you have an option. If you want to promote this link, maybe you've promoted the other, you know, the, the other VSL page, right? You know, with, with a 19 minute video and you want to do something fresh. So here's another link, another way that you can promote our webinar to people. <laughs> To people has a pricing right on the page. There's there's you know uh, full demo walkthrough and and everything here just like that. Now you've got one more link, and that is your two tier affiliate link. And why? Because right here in uh, our commissions for the lifetime, we have <clears throat> we have a 10% override to all of our affiliates. So once I activate this, anything over zero, a two tier link will show. OK, and then when I come over to here and I put me, this is me, I put my JV information page. Uh, I don't want and let me just show you this for a minute. <clears throat> when you click on this, you're going to be you're, you're going to be you're sending people to here. Now, who do you send to this this link? If you have affiliates, you have affiliates, you write an email to your affiliates that say, dear affiliates. Uh, if you want something that converts, I've had a lot of success with 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 uh, with the GrooveFunnels affiliate program. If you want to learn more about it, click here, and then you send them this link like this, okay? And they're going to go to GrooveJV.com. That redirects to GrooveJV. Now this page looks a little weird because there's supposed to be a video here, but I just haven't redone it, right? Um, because we're not really pushing this program too much. This was, but without getting complicated, we're getting ready to launch GrooveFunnels, if you know what I mean, right? So um, we had a video explaining the product launch in December, and Joe kept telling me, Mike, you got to take that video down. You're talking about prizes, and people want to know. And I'm like, all right, you know, just let me just make Joe happy. And I took the video off. And so this bit, page is supposed to have a big video, and the, these buttons are supposed to be down here, right? But this is a typical, known as a JV blog, right? This is uh your videos uh your prizes the rules and and all that different stuff right so uh the reason why we have this is this is where they sign up for the affiliate program okay but we don't want we don't want when people promote the two-tier affiliate link to basically send people to this sign up form right because if you're telling somebody to join the affiliate program you can only do so much in an email 
And when they get to this page, they're not going to be that excited to sign up. So what we want to do is ask you, where do you want to sell that affiliate program for me? I'm selling you on to become an affiliate at Groove JV. So my affiliates, you, you see this link. So when you promote it, you'll go to a page that should have a video. I should have a video up there going, hi, this is Mike Phil saying, welcome to the Groove Funnels affiliate program. If you'd like to learn how to earn 40% commission and we do some periodic prizes, simply click the link below and you'll sign up for our affiliate program. And in there, you will get links to uh, a product index page, a page to send direct to checkout if you're doing your own reviews. Uh, we have a webinar replay link and we have a two tier affiliate program if you wanna help us promote. Now, if you promote this, and anybody that you promote our affiliate program to, let's, and, and I don't want you to go do this, right? I'm not, you know, please don't spam anybody. But if you were to go up to somebody that's an influencer uh, and say, hey, uh, here's a good affiliate program. And they're like, oh, cool. Yeah, I'll sign up through your link. And they make 100 sales. Well, that's $50,000 in sales. And you would get 10% and you would get uh, a 10% uh, commission that would earn you 5,000 based on you recruiting affiliates for that vendor. So that's how that works. Um, and Donna, do me a favor, just take a note for me, uh, the affiliate override, um, I wanna put a choice there, is it on the gross or 10%, uh, like uh, give, give the, uh, the person setting up the program, is it 10% of, they can choose 10% of the sale or 10% of the commission earned by the affiliate, and then they can choose. All right. So um, I think Kartra had it at 10% of the the amount earned by the affiliate, as opposed to 10% of the gross, which is the way we did it. Um, it was of the sale in Kartra. Oh, well, was the sale? It's not override Kartra, but um, yeah, Kartras are all based on the sale. Okay, cool. Uh, any other questions, or are we good? Um, there is a question. Earlier on in the webinar, you made almost a throwaway comment about how uh, maybe it's not a great time to be focusing on running Facebook ads. And uh, Jeff asked if you could elaborate on that. I'm sorry, Donna. I literally didn't hear a word you said. I was reading <laughs> I was reading Prafal's question saying, why should I want them to buy the lifetime access? And I literally said to myself, <laughs> in my head, I'm like, well, why no? And then I, I just didn't listen to you. I apologize. Uh, let right. me let me listen to you. I apologize. Answer, Can you please why don't you answer that? that one first? Okay. Should, uh, and then we'll move on to the other Paul says, uh, quick question. Why should I want them to buy the lifetime access? Dot, dot, dot. Um, because you want to spread love to the world. It's a good deal. You're helping us uh, fund this company. That's how we generate $300,000 a month by you and affiliates helping us uh, sell a great value right now while we're developing the software so that we could later sell it at $99 a month. Now, if you say to yourself, hey, you know, I'd rather wait and get the 40% commission for life on the $99 payment, I get it, or just do both. You can do both. Um, James Evans says, uh, anyway, we can have a link shortener like Bitly. Yes, you are going to see that uh, literally right uh, here, tracking. Uh, you're going to have link trackers. In fact, look at that. We've got tracking links for you. You can create them right now. That just went live. Uh, oh, my God. Boom. Another thing you didn't know. So, hey, there you go, James Evan. You have tracking links like Bitly. Uh, okay. And there's going to be more as well. So, Donna, I'm sorry. Please, that question one more time. That's awesome. All right. So, uh, can you elaborate on the comment that you made early on about how it might not be a good time to be running Facebook ads? And maybe just talk a little bit more about what marketing is like in these times right now. Yeah, <clears throat> thanks. So, um, you know, I, I said uh, about Groove ads, you know, that, hey, if you're interested, and then as I said it, I was like, yeah, but to be quite frank, I don't even know that uh, anybody uh, that called me, uh, I would probably say, hey, what kind of product do you have? Are you selling, are you selling supplements? Uh, because I know this, the supplement people, you know, um, are basically changing their marketing to say, you know, immune boosters, you know, uh, and things like that. And and um, I'm not going to judge, you know, everybody's doing what they got to do to survive. But there are some people, obviously, that are crossing the lines uh, when it comes to uh, surgical masks. Um, uh, not even going to tell you some of the, the 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 conversations that we were given opportunities for uh, to process merchant accounts for people that were like, dude, you're not going to freaking believe this. We're buying these masks at 75 cents and we're selling them at six dollars. We're crushing it, but we've I was like, hey, we're not going to help you. <clears throat> we're not going to help you. Not going to help you. Why? Why? What? Just because. Shame on you, dude. Shame on you. 
Shame on you. These th these things should be selling for ninety nine cents in packs of ten uh, or whatever. But look, I, I get it. I, I I look not for me to judge. I just don't want to be part of it. And yesterday, President Trump said that they're instituting a program to put fines and penalties for anyone that is gouging or looking to profit uh, in you know in a in a way like this from people's. Uh, he said fear and suffering at this time, and we turned down that merchant account. We said, no, sorry, not going to do it. Yeah, it look, I, I'm not judging you. We just, we don't want to profit on that. Uh, <clears throat> then we had somebody call us. They're looking to do uh, masks. They have, they're getting 1.5 million masks a month. And we said, what are you doing it for? And they said, 99 cents. No, legit company, everything like that. So, okay, and and you really were where they basically were showing us pictures of the factory and all that different stuff. And you know they said their 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 business has blown up because of this, right? Who sells this many masks at any time? And they needed another merchant account. We were more willing to help those people. Now, having said that, not every business it boons uh, in this economy. Uh, people need to adapt and overcome. I had a call with Jason Economides from Funnel Jedi. And he called me yesterday, Tom, Donna, and he said, Mike, uh, Donna, I spoke to you about this. He says, right now, there are food wholesalers that provide to restaurants. And since restaurants aren't open, they're stuck with all this inventory and fresh meats and everything like that. And they're using this app called Nextdoor. And they're just blowing it up. They're blowing it up in next door saying, if you're interested in this and then they're, they're, they're even, I'll send you an email of our thing, PayPal me this. And the people basically have to circle it, scan it, email them back. And he says, Mike, I want to use GrooveCart. I'm going to create a store um, uh, for them. And can your team help me just do this one? I said, yeah, sure. What, what are you going to do? He's like, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help these restaurant owners and I'm going to sell them uh, a groove cart store for $4.97 and $4.97 for me. I'll do the done for you setup to basically uh, teach them how. And, and I'm going to put an ad. And he's telling me, like, I've got a, a restaurant magazine, trade magazine that reaches out. I'm going to be the cover story for, for the restaurant magazine for, for next year on how, how blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, no, I want to help. Definitely. I want to help. So uh, I'm not answering your question, Donna, what, uh, yet. Uh, what I'm saying is, you know, sometimes you have to, as Tom said, adapt and overcome and say, how can, how can we do things a little bit different in this economy? Restaurants are doing delivery and all these different types of things. So for, for, for you with, um, you know, with the Facebook ads, if, um, if the ads aren't working, uh, I don't have a, a, a secret recipe for you here right now. What we did is we've cut our ads down. We're watching them a little bit closer. Um, we were doing three to 5,000 a day. We're doing 500 a day because we want to see if we can crack the code and make them work. Find the really effective ones where before we had 30 ads running and all 30 of them worked. Good, bad, or indifferent. Now we might chop that down to three or four ads that really work when things are good and are just maybe helping us right now just get above over break even. Uh, but having said that, what you want to start doing is 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 uh, you know go, going out and and doing the things that you can do. Like as Tom said, engage. How do you 10x your engagement? Can you get out there and talk to your market the way we did on this webinar? Make a bond with them about what we're all going through. Put some more time into social media. Uh, ask them to share the message for you. Dif different things like like uh, like that. Consider doing uh, <coughs> this. This was a little. Uh, tricky, right? Consider doing something like Uber Conference, giving something away for free that you would normally sell if it's a subscription. Um, like I said, we, we don't want to leak something too much, but we've got something that we want to do for the internet marketing community in, in about two weeks. But these are the conversations that we're having over here uh, that you, you might uh, want to do. Now, please, uh, this should go without saying, but don't become opportunistic here. If you're going to do it, do it from the heart. Uh, if you're going to do it as a discount, don't do it as a as a Black Friday sale. Hey, everybody, since you know, blah blah blah, the coronavirus sale. No, no, no. It, do a real from the heart message, uh, and you know, and say, hey, I'm affected like everybody else, but for the next you know few months, we're going to do it this way. Um, you know, uh, you know, to help out the communities that still need our product. And if you can do it for free. Uh, you know, and there's an upgrade path somewhere. Don't have an, uh, a one-time offer or an upsell. 
not during these times. Uh, have an upgrade path somewhere uh, in the email and put a story around it. Hey, I hope you're liking this. And you know, you can upgrade now if you have the money. If not, this will be available for you at this discount or anything, anything along those lines. But um, <clears throat> the, the point is to go out and help the people that can use your business by giving them a discount um, and still serving yourself and your employees and your staff and your family, as opposed to looking at this as an opportunity to exploit, right? That's that that that's basically the way that uh, the way that we see this. Okay. Uh, and Mike, Paul, a quick follow up on that. Uh, we uh, appreciate Jeff, that, uh, Prefall. Thank you. Jeff, Jeff says uh, so. Normal Facebook ads, such as to promote Groovy Digital, are still recommended, or should we be standing by? And, so and that, you know, my so quick my quick thing on that, Jeff, is listen to what Mike said and think of the framing of, hey, look, you know, you're probably at home and you may be like, now's my time to finally get something going and start my own business. And so, you know, so talking to the people <laughs> entering the conversation in the minds, I think, is a valid way to still promote Groove uh, Digital and, and, and all the yeah, amazing let, offers. Tom, I, I want to I want to say this because I missed a key part and, and it's about what you just said. And it's a perfect interjection. I might, might have misled everybody here by not making this the strongest point of all. First of all, I'm not telling you to stop your Facebook ads. I'm telling you to uh, inspect everything for the performance. If we were doing three thousand dollars a day and it was working and I could go to six thousand a day, I would and I wouldn't change my message. Not out there. If it's working, then people are finding a need for it. And they're saying, maybe I'm going to buy this lifetime offer because it's going to save me the $2.99 a month on ClickFunnels. And I'll deal with that over the next few months as, as this software puts out the new features, right? Maybe that's just working, right? So the message that I, I want to be loud and clear on here is do not change the way you're marketing if it works. And please don't stop Facebook advertising. What I'm saying is if the economy uh, is hitting you because of the virus right now, or the virus is hitting you uh, right now and it's affecting your numbers, by all means, you have to try something new. But you, you have to be a proud entrepreneur and go out and, and know that if people are buying your product th th based on marketing that was there before, there's nothing to be ashamed of. That's something to be proud of. We have, a t we have team members here that got to get paid. We have software developers that have to make an app better for you. It's my responsibility as a leader and an entrepreneur uh, to be victorious in this time, not for my for my for my my wallet, uh, but for my family who depends on me, uh, for my mom and dad who also depend on me, for my my team members, my other partners who count on me the way I count on them, and more importantly, my customers that traded their money for a service that they expect to be up and running. It is my duty, it is your duty to wake up every single day more than ever with vigor and excitement to go out and continue to sell. There is no shame whatsoever in going out and, and selling. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, Maybe you might have to address the virus in your emails uh, be, because it might just be hard to go out and just just go out and market very, very, you know, very on the nose uh, the way that we did in this webinar today uh, and the way that we did on our sales webinar last week. Um, by all means, it's okay to address that and speak frankly with your customers uh, and help them. But the, the, the right down to the, the biblical quote that is misquoted more than anything, um, <clears throat> money is the root of all evil. One of the myths, you hear that, well, you know, money's the root of all evil. That's not the quote. Uh, the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money, okay? But but when you, when you look at uh, value and you're saying my mission is to provide value, uh, and uh, th th there could never be a quote on either one that says value or the love of value is the, is the root of all evil. So if you're going out there with your customers in mind and you're really thinking of them when you're writing the emails and, 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 or just getting up excited to go to work every day to do a print on demand business because funny, funny shirts is making somebody feel better, uh, there is no reason at all for, for anybody to feel, uh, feel weird about being an entrepreneur uh, in these times. We are the soul of the economy of this world. And without the entrepreneurs, without 
the entrepreneurs and the people that support the entrepreneurs and these businesses, then we would have nothing. We'd have no restaurant owners. We'd have no no car washes and and dry cleaners. These are these are the entrepreneurs that need to do what they have to do to provide the services for people. As long as we're not uh, going out there and getting people hurt or 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 sick or infecting people, and 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 uh, and there's nothing more responsible than waking up early. Uh, and getting your team excited and telling them we're going to get through this and continuing to market. So I don't know if I made that clear before that. Uh, you know, so that is that is the message I want to leave you, you folks here with today. <clears throat> All right. OK, folks, uh, two and a half hours uh, here. Uh, I'm going to put a little message out to our friend uh, that gave that message earlier. If you're still on the webinar, we love you very, very much. Uh, and we hope that we've changed your mind about what these calls might be on a day in and day basis. And if you need any help, please go to the help desk and our team will help you get your site up in the next three days. For everybody else, I want to say thanks for coming in and doing a groove flicks and chill as Donna has, uh, has coined the other day in an email. Uh, two and a half hours, you, you could have watched one tenth of the Irishman. That's a joke. Or you could have spent uh, your time here with us uh, as a family. And I know you might be sitting in front of a, an iPad or a laptop, and it may be difficult to watch this. It's not on the big screen TV, and your family might be downstairs yelling, hey, you're coming down to eat. Uh, we appreciate your, you, you guys being here. E-commerce Thursdays will take place again uh, this Thursday at 6 p.m. The virus is not going to stop us. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. We are on a mission. We have never been more energized to be here for you, to help you succeed in your business. With that said, I'm going to end this webinar uh, while Tom and Donna say their goodbyes. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you on Thursday. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks a lot, everybody, for being here. Uh, uh, thank you, Donna. Uh, and uh, hey, this was awesome. Uh, and be ready for Thursday. And we'll see you back here next Tuesday, uh, same time. Donna? Uh Thanks, everyone. I have been um, very, very busy during this webinar trying to reply to all of your comments. There's so many of them. I feel the love and support. I am so grateful to be part of this team. So thrilled to have, you know, the, the strong leadership of Mike and uh, the rest of the, the leaders in Group Digital. And, you know, you guys are in the right place. So love you all. Make it a great week. We'll see you again. Uh, Thursday, if you're on the Thursday training, if not, next week. Great. XOXO, we love you very much, everybody. Have a good night and stay safe. Bye-bye.